excuse me, sir? Any spare change? Get a job, loser! Thanks. Ugh, I'm so hungry. So I told him, I said, Elon, you should name it Tesla, buddy. Uh, excuse me, do you have any spare change? Here, take this. Ah, what the? Sorry, Hank, I just had to give a penny to a poor. Wow, a penny. Looks like my luck is finally starting to change. Hey, give me that money. It's mine. Oh, no, not this guy again. Get back here, human. I want that money. Ooh, ball, ball. That was close. I should keep moving and find something to eat. Excuse me, sir. What? What do you want? Ew, you reek, kid. Can I buy something to eat? I only have this penny. You've got to be kidding me. That won't buy you anything here. It's useless, just like you. I'm not useless. Look, can you at least sell me something? You can have whatever you want in the dumpster for a penny. Hand it over. Ugh, it's all junk. Well, it's trash. What did you expect, you idiot? All I see is junk, junk, and wait. Is that a phone? Huh. Yeah, this definitely doesn't work anymore, but I bet I can fix it. I can't afford a phone right now, but maybe the camera will work. Yeah, it looks good. I'll use this to take pictures and maybe I can even sell them. I've got to go tell Tristan and Tilly. Hey, guys, guess what I found? Look. How did you get a phone? Did you steal it? No, no, of course not. I bought it for a penny. Wow, that's so cool, Tom. Does it work? I don't know, but I think the camera might. Ooh, I bet we can take some really pretty pictures with this. Maybe some flowers. Ooh, ooh, or rainbows. It's broken, Tom. It's worthless. But maybe we can fix it, Tristan. We could sell the pictures and make money. That's exactly what I was thinking. We can turn this into an opportunity. Smart thinking, Tilly. <coughs> oh no, hey, are you okay? I'm fine, Tom. Don't worry about me. <coughs> hey, can I talk to you outside? Sorry, boys only, Tilly. Oh man, okay. You wasted our first chance at real money on something stupid, Tom. I can't believe you. What, dude, this could change everything for us. We can make money and help Tilly get better. You need to grow up. We can't rely on these big, crazy, stupid ideas. Tilly is really sick, and we need real solutions. I'll show him. This idea is going to work. Hey, Kyle, I found this old phone. Do you think you can fix it? Hmm, let me take a look. Ah, uh, it's missing a really important piece. And I think I have a spare one somewhere. Uh, hold on, let me look for it. Oh, yeah, this is it. Lucky for you, I've got it right here. Give it a shot. See if it works. It does. Awesome. And the camera is pretty good, too. Good luck with everything, Tob. I really wish you the best. Pictures. Pictures for sale. Oh, my gosh. You take pictures? Can you take a selfie of me and my boyfriend? Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to. Uh, here you go. Oh my gosh, I love it. Here, keep the change. Come on, babe. They're gonna run out of the double doubles. You know how much I love them. Wow, this is awesome. Hey, uh, I'd like to buy this, please. You want some money? <laughs> now we're talking. Finally, I have food for Tristan and Tilly. You can't do this. Wait, what's going on? Yes, I can. This place is mine now. I'm tearing it down to build a new golf course for me and my friends. You think you can just kick us out? We live here. Well, not anymore, Palsy. Hold on a minute. What's going on? Oh, it's you. I gave you that penny the other day. I recognize your sad, pathetic face. Yeah, more like you threw it at me. Well, it doesn't matter. You'll need a lot more money to keep this disgusting place from getting shut down. You've got about a week before I come back to tear everything to the ground. Stupid, poor, pathetic losers. Ugh, I hate it here. 
guy is insufferable. Yeah, tell me about it. But did you really earn that money with those pictures? I did, and now we have food. I told you this would work, and I'm not gonna give up. All right, all right, come on. Let's go get some to Tilly. I know she's gonna be excited. Wow, these photographs are incredible. And these are all Evans, too. He's so talented. Ugh, how am I supposed to get all of this done? There's only so many hours in a day. Hey, Evan. Oh, hey, Tom. Is uh, this a bad time? I, I can come back. No, no, this is perfect timing. Sorry if I seemed a little stressed. I've got so much work to do. No worries. I, I can tell it's a busy time for you. But hey, congratulations on the gallery. These photos are amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. You know, I've been getting into photography lately, and I was just wondering if you could give me some guidance. That's fantastic, Tom. I'll be more than happy to help you. In fact, I have something for you. Wow, that's a sick camera. Yeah, it is. And it's yours. Just take good care of it, okay? Okay, I will. I promise. Oh, I knew you will. Now, there's a list of landmarks around the city. The mayor wants some creative and eye-catching photographs for his new campaign. You can count on me. I just need one more shot. And the lighting over there is just perfect. Or try a different spot? I don't know. Hey, Paul! We need to talk. What? Hey, stop calling me that. What are you even doing here? Oh, just taking a walk, enjoying the scenery. Nothing suspicious, I assure you. All right, well, enjoy your walk then and leave me alone. Hold on a second. What you got there? Is that a real camera or just a kid's toy? <laughs> no, it's a real camera. I got it from my job. Oh, how nice of them to lend a poor person something expensive. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. What? <laughs> Oops. Why would you do that? That wasn't mine. What's wrong with you, dude? I can't have you getting money and ruining my plans to demolish your stupid, pathetic house. Oh no, I can't let him get away with this. I need to find a way to fix this thing and turn all of this around. Kyle, please, you have to fix this camera for me. It's my only chance to change my life. I'll take a look, but I'm not a miracle worker, Tom. I can't make any promises. Ooh-wee. Is it bad? Yeah, I'd say so. This thing is seriously smashed up. Oh no, this, this is terrible. Evan told me to take care of this and now look. Well, uh, maybe you should talk to that Evan guy. He's more experienced with this kind of stuff. Just take it to him. Tom, there you are. We need to go right now. What's wrong? It's Tilly. She's in the hospital. We have to go see her now. Oh, there you are. Is she okay? She's stable for now. She's going to need to stay here for a while so that we can monitor her condition. Okay, uh, that's good. How much is all of this going to cost? We don't have a lot of money. Well, uh, it's actually going to be very, very expensive, so... Uh, don't worry about that right now, Tristan. We'll find a way to get all the money. Tom, shut up! You and your dumb dreams. Taking pictures, really? We can't afford to chase something that might never happen. All right, all right. Tristan, come with me and we can discuss payment options. I'm here, Tilly. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry about? Don't apologize. None of this is your fault, okay? We're gonna get through this together. Evan, I'm really sorry about all of this. I completely understand if you want to fire me, okay? Uh, I let you down. Relax, Tom. It's not a big deal. The camera was insured. No harm done. Wait, so you're not mad at me? No, not at all. Don't worry about it, okay? Let's just focus on the work. I'm still gonna need those pictures, and I need them in the next hour. I know you can deliver. What do you say? Yeah, of course. Tom, these are sick. You got a real talent for this. Thanks, man. I'm really proud of them. And as I promised, take this for your hard work. You've earned it. Whoa, this is a lot of money. Thank you. And there's a lot more where that came from, because I've got some more jobs for you. And for doing so great, take the rest of the day off. You earned it. Thanks, man. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait to tell my family about this. I said get out of my way. 
I'm not going anywhere. That money was due today. You're out of time and you need to leave. We still have to the end of the day. You can't just kick us out like that. I'm rich. I don't care about time. I want you gone. This land is mine. Here, take the money. It's more than what we owe, actually. You're not taking our home. What? No! I don't actually want your money. I just want you out of here. Well, then, if you don't want the money, we'll take it back. But we're not leaving. Oh, fine. If you miss one more payment, this land will belong to me. Come on, boys. Let's go and see how long they last. <laughs> Where did you get that money, Tom? Working with Evan. I told you that this is it, Tristan. This is our way out. It's amazing. But we're going to need a lot more, though, if we're going to keep this place. I'll get more. I promise. Why are there so many people here? Yeah, Tom, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. What's going on, Evan? Why is it so crowded? It's because of your pictures. I put them up and the people absolutely love them. I've never seen this place set pack before. That's amazing. All of this is because of me? Yeah, you've got something special, Tom. The talent you captured in your photographs struck a chord with the audience, and they want more. I knew people would like them, but... This is more than I ever imagined. How would you like to become a full-time photographer for the gallery? Are you serious, Evan? Uh, of course, I'd love that opportunity. Consider it your official promotion then. I want to see what you can do with a real camera. Just uh, don't break it this time, okay? Look, I, I won't. Thank you, Evan. I won't let you down. I don't understand. Why are you kicking me out? I've had enough of your games. You can't keep taking advantage of this hospital. What's going on here? You can't talk to her like that. Oh, well, there you are. I know you're stupid and broke, unable to pay for the medical care we've been providing. I won't tolerate this any longer. Tilly is out of here. Doctor, please, look, I, I just need a few more days, okay? I'm working on getting the payment together. Pay up now or leave. Look, I don't have the money right now. I had to spend what I had to save my home. I'm doing everything I can. Just please, just give me a little bit more time. I don't have time for your sob stories. Time's up, loser. Find a way to deal with it yourselves. Now leave now. Fine, we'll go. Just know that you're turning your back on someone who really needs the help. All right, what would make the perfect picture for Evan? Maybe capturing the essence of the city and its vibrant energy. Evan thinks I'm a natural, so all I should do is just trust myself more. Are you sure you weren't followed? Remy? What is he up to? I told you to be discreet. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, boss, okay? No one saw me. Uh, look, we've got it all under control over here. Good. Job well done. Right. This doesn't look shady at all. I need to find out what Remy is up to. Ah, too slow. I have a feeling whatever it is, it's not good. Hey, Evan, I've got the pictures you wanted. Slee, let's see what you got this time. Whoa, these are incredible. Dude, you've truly outdone yourself. These shots capture the vibe of the city perfectly. Thanks. I had a lot of fun taking them. But hey, there's something else. I saw Remy today, and he was acting really suspicious. Suspicious? How? I saw him handing over a bag of money to a shady-looking guy. Well, this Remy guy is weird, for sure. He occasionally hires me for photo shoots. You know, headshots for his businesses, random photo shoots of his cars and his mansions. He's rich, but... There's something off about him. What do you think it could be? I feel like he's a fake jerk. He doesn't pay well and he insults everyone during the whole shoot. But he's so well connected, I don't ask questions. Now I'm starting to wonder. Oh, anyways, here's your cut, Tom. You've earned it. This should help you with your sister's health care. This is more than we agreed to. I know, but with all the extra traffic in the gallery you brought, I made some extra money, so I figured it should go to you. I've never seen this much money in my life. I'm gonna get Tilly's medicine right away. Tilly, guess what? I've got the money for your medicine. Really? I won't be sick anymore? That's right. Thank you, Tom. I hate being sick. 
You bought Tilly's medicine? I know how expensive that is. What about the house, Tom? Our next payment is in a few days. Look, Tilly's health is our priority right now, okay? The house can wait. I know that, but this house is the last thing we have left of mom and dad, and we need a place to live. I know how important this place is to all of us, but we have to think about Tilly's well-being first. We'll find a way to make things right, okay? Just trust me. I trust Tom, and you should too, Tristan. <sighs> I guess you're right. Mom and dad would want us to take care of Tilly. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm your older brother. I should be taking care of both of you. I just don't know what to do. We work together as a family. I've got a plan, and I think it's going to solve all of our problems. Glad to hear Tilly's feeling better. That must be a relief. It is. And over the last couple of weeks working with you, I saved up some money, but I need your help. I help? With what? I need to buy a new house for my family. We can't keep dealing with Remy's threats, and I want them to have a better life. Well then, I've got some good news for you. There's a high-profile charity event coming up, and they've requested our photography services. Normally, I'd take the job because the pay is incredible, but I think you can handle it on your own. How much does it pay? $150,000. Wait, what? Evan, that's incredible. That would be a perfect down payment. The job's yours then. It's next weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. You worked really hard, Tom, and I've got full faith in your skills. This event is a chance for you to shine. Just remember, don't be late. I know you're going to crush it. This is going great. I'm making a ton of money with this gig. Everyone here seems to be having fun too. Time to catch these moments. What do you think you're doing here, you little nobody? Hey, did someone bring their trash to this charity event? I was hired to be the photographer of this event, Remy. I'm just doing my job. Oh, not on my watch. You don't belong here. This is my crowd of people, not yours. Yeah, I do belong here. Oh, you think so? Well, I just talked to the owner of this house, and he says all poor people are banned. What? You can't be serious. Of course. So it's time for you to leave. I can't believe Remy did this. That was going to be so much money. Oh, you see, Tom, you're a joke. Have fun being homeless or whatever. <laughs> now get lost. You know, I may not have everything that you have, Remy, but at least I have integrity and self-respect. You can mock me all you want, but I will never stoop to your level. I'm out of here. Hey, you're a boss guy. I got the payment for you right here. Good. Now leave. You disgust me. And don't let anyone see you. Oh, what? I'm going to find out who that guy is. What is the meaning of this? Poor people are not allowed on my property. Leave at once. I am an officer of the law, you fat idiot. A terrible police officer, but I go wherever I want. I don't care who you are. I want you gone. Shut up, you're not my mom. We have evidence, Remy. Evidence that leaks you to a known criminal. We saw you two at the party. Yeah, and you're going to jail, you frog-faced jerk. Now put your bloated hands in the air. You think you can apprehend Wait, me? He's making you run for it. No! Ah! Hey, are you okay? Come on, let me help you up. Shut up! Don't touch me! I hate this job! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Are you serious, Tom? This is our home? Yeah, it is. I've been working hard, and I managed to make a lot of money. Enough to afford this new place for us. Yay! I never liked the old house anyways. This one is much better. Can't believe you've done all of this for us. I never thought we would ever live in a place like this. It's all because you spent that penny on an old busted phone. This is this is crazy. I know. I wonder what mom and dad would say. They could see us now. I think they would be proud of us, man. I know they would be. Can we go inside now? Of course. You have to pick your room, you know. Yay, I get the biggest one. What? Whoa, hold on, you little monster. Get back here. Oh, don't worry, boss. I've found them. <laughs> Tom, did you use that camera a couple months ago? That was the best decision I ever made. Look at how much it has transformed the gallery. We're busy almost every night. 
It's really changed everything for me, and I owe it all to you for believing in my talent and giving me this opportunity. We're finally getting recognized for our talent. Speaking of that, I got you a new job, and it's a special request. Special request? Yeah, I got a phone call from Town Hall. Mayor Tonberry wants you to capture all the pictures for his campaign. He wants something new and fresh. Whoa, that sounds very important. It is. There's a new candidate running for mayor, and Tonberry really wants to win. He's a great guy, and he needs your help. Breaking news! We have an exciting development in the city's mayoral race. A new candidate has emerged, making significant political waves. So... Who is this new candidate? Remy Buxaplenty is really starting to make headlines for his wild and almost unbelievable promises he's making if he becomes elected. Wait, what? Remy is back? How the heck is he running for mayor? Look, I didn't want to tell you because I know you guys got history, but you've moved on and Remy can't be a threat to you anymore. Just focus on your work and your family. Everything's going to be fine, dude. I don't know, man. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to get home and make sure my family's safe. But I'll call City Hall and book the gig with the mayor. Trust me, Evan. Remy is not going to win this time. Just be careful, Tom. I have a bad feeling about this, too. All right, uh, I'm almost home. Oh, gosh, I hope I'm not too late. I need to see if Tristan and Tilly are okay. I can't stop feeling like they're in danger for some reason. Wait, what's that? Ah! Ah! Oh, look at that. There you are. <laughs> what the... <laughs> hey, Tom, Mr. Buxo Plenty thinks you should watch your back. <coughs> Who are you? What do you want from me? You heard me, pal. Remy has a score to settle with you. He's coming for you, and you better be prepared. Uh, Remy! Really nice place you got here, Tom. You actually tried to pull yourself out of the gutter. What do you want? I have no reason to deal with you anymore. Oh, Tom, you're still as dumb as ever. I'm gonna win that campaign, and I've already made sure of it. You got yourself involved in my business and tried to get me arrested. That's a mistake you're going to live to regret. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! No! What have you done? You should really watch your back, Tom. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what happened? Oh my gosh! You guys are okay! I was so worried you guys were inside. Tristan took me to get ice cream, but our house... I'm sorry, guys. It was Remy. He's doing all of this, but I'm not gonna let him get away with it. I thought it was over. I thought we were finally safe. I, it will all be over soon. I promise. You got no proof that Remy had anything to do with that fire. Must have been a gas leak or something. Dang, he must have covered his tracks. Yeah, okay, listen. Nobody believes you, all right? Remy's a big deal in this city, and he wouldn't waste his time on someone like you. Now get out, you're disgusting me. Well, they don't believe me. They're not going to arrest him. Unbelievable. This Remy guy comes in, blows up our house, and the police won't even listen to us? All of my toys and pretty things are gone. I miss our house. Don't worry, guys. He's not just going to get away with it. We'll get everything back, okay? I, I promise. Until we figure this out, I don't want Tilly anywhere near that guy. We need to keep her safe. You're right. I need to keep both of you guys safe. Evan said that we can stay with him until we figure out our next move. You guys might need to go somewhere and hide. That means we'll be apart again. Don't worry, Tilly. It won't be forever. So, Mayor Tonberry, what do you think? Tom did a real great job with these shots, didn't he? Oh, these are incredible! Tom, great job! You've truly captured the essence of my campaign. I hope this covers your expenses and helps you find a new home. Thank you so much, Mayor. Your kindness means a lot. I really hope these help show the citizens you're the right choice for re-election. Speaking of, we also wanted to talk about Remy. He's been causing havoc in Tom's life, and 
We need to find a way to stop him, Mr. Mayor. Well, if you can provide concrete evidence that exposes Remy as the criminal, I promise to reward you. Be sure to make multiple copies of evidence you get, okay? Everything I had mysteriously disappeared from the police station. So how are we going to get new evidence against him? He's on to us now. It's not going to be easy. Well, we're photographers, aren't we? We just need to capture the right moment. Here it is, guys. I know it's not much, but once we settle everything with Remy, I promise I'll find us an even better place to call home. I love it already. It's so quiet and peaceful out here. Can I go inside? Of course, Tilly. I'm glad you like it. There's even a stream in the backyard. Go check it out. What if Remy finds us again here? I don't want him to take this away from us, too. Right, Tristan, out here in the woods, there's no way Remy could find us. We'll be safe. And I promise you, we're going to deal with him once and for all. You know, Tom, really proud of you. The person that you've become. Strong, smart, and more determined than any of us. Mom and Dad would be proud of you, too. This is Remy's mansion. I'll go around the back and you take the front. We need to find something incriminating. There's got to be some evidence here for sure. Got it. You still get caught. Yeah, and same to you. Good luck. What is this? This is nothing. Five million dollars? Trying to steal and not get caught is tough now that you're doing this mayor stuff, okay? And you don't have much money left. Just go and pay a visit to some of our local townspeople. Make some threats and get us some money. I'll rule this town by fear if I have to. What was that? Tom? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> get back here. What's this, Tommy? Huh? Do you just like destroying cameras or something, dude? <laughs> you're pathetic. You think you're really gonna stop me, Tom? Just give up already and leave before I call my police friends down here to arrest you. Well, we blew that chance. Remy's on to us now and is definitely going to tie into security. I fear we're running out of options. I might lose everything. Not yet, Mr. Mayor. We could set up a trap for Remy, something he can't resist. What do you mean by that? I think the answer is right in front of us. We just need a combination of money and ruining Tom's life. Oh, no. What do you have in mind, Evan? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tom here has become one of the world's most famous photographers. And we wanted to show you all one of the most impressive pieces he's ever made. You've truly captured something extraordinary here, Tom. Any words for the people watching? Thank you so much, Mayor. And yeah, I do. Your kind words and appreciation for my work has really changed my life. This photograph is very special, and I'm excited to share it with the world. And this bad boy is valued at over 20 million dollars. That's quite a sum. You've certainly captured something extraordinary. Yeah, it seems like this picture has a pretty hefty price tag. Who would have thought, right? 20 million dollars, huh? Well, Tom's really outdone himself this time, for once. I know exactly what I have to do. And this time, I'll make sure Tom's life is ruined for good. <laughs> Now, where is it? It has to be here. I want that stupid picture. I have to have it. It's over, Remy. You messed with the wrong guy. Ugh, Tom, you disgust me. Your reign of manipulation, deceit, and now. Yeah, guess who's back, you big fat idiot. I escaped once. I'll do it again. What, what the? No. No, I thought you were slow. Yeah, well, I've been eating a lot of lean cuisines. Now shut up and get to walking, you criminal. Goodbye, Remy. For those of you who are now just tuning in, I have buried a key in the sand. And if you find it, you can open this vault and win a million dollars. Move out the way, people. I got a key I gotta find. My metal detector, I know I'll find that key. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Whoa, there's something here. A penny? Stupid, worthless piece of junk. Ow, ow, what was that? Oh, it's just a penny. Where did this thing come from? You know what? This is a sign. I spent my entire life being homeless and I'm done. I'm gonna change my life with this penny and finally be the person that I've always wanted to be. Hey, what are you doing with that penny, man? What? I just found it. No! You're stealing! You're a thief! Hey, hey, get off of me! Get back here!
All right, first things first. I got to figure out a way to make this into more money. Yo, I just won that tournament. I'm a billionaire. This car is sick. Oh my gosh, that guy's driving way too fast. Yo, this car totally rips, man. Whoa, wait. Oh! Oh my gosh, is that guy okay? Oh man, it's on fire. Hey man, you gotta get out of there. Ew, no, you smell like a poor loser. Come on, dude, you don't have to be rude. I'm trying to save your life. Fine, whatever. Are you okay or are you hurt? Yeah, it was a Tesla. I'm fine, dude. Uh, this car's totally useless now. How am I supposed to take a selfie with this? If you don't want it, maybe I can buy it from you. What? Dude, you want to buy a crashed car? What's wrong with you? This thing is worthless, like you. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a pen right here and i'm willing to trade it for the car yeah fine whatever i'm a billionaire now if you want this trash for a penny you can take it honestly if i can fix this thing up this is gonna go great hey what's going on here none of you hurt no i was able to get this guy out safely i drove 40 minutes blew through 10 red lights thanks a lot for completely wasting my time oh man this is a lot more stressful than it looks <coughs> Uh, Luke, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Dad. Why are you up? You should be resting. I'm trying to fix this car. Trying to fix this hunk of junk? Why? Because I think it's long overdue that we start making money and creating an actual future for ourselves. I don't know, son. I mean, this looks pretty hopeless. We're just homeless, all right? That's just who we are. Well, I'm tired of being like that, Dad. And you've been sick for years now. If we don't get you medical attention soon, I don't even want to think about what's going to happen. Yeah, well, that's why I'm out here. Got stuck inside all day. I need some fresh air. Why don't you take a break and take a walk with me? All right, yeah, let's go. You know, Luke, you should worry about yourself getting out of this homeless camp. You don't need to worry about your old man. What kind of talk is that? Of course I need to worry. You're the only family that I have left. I know, I know. We only have each other, but I want you to have a good life. As your father, that's my goal. And I plan on making that goal happen, but I'm bringing you with me. You deserve a better life just as much as I do, and I'm going to do whatever I can to make that a reality. All right, all right. You're not going to do it fixing this hunk of junk. Quit wasting your time and do something more real. That attitude's the reason why we're still homeless. Come on, just, just a few more fixes and... Look! It turned on! See, Dad? Whoa, I'm actually kind of impressed. Listen, just, just go relax, okay? I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna see if I can sell it, see if I can make more money. Clarence, did you see what I just saw? Nah, I ain't got that 2030 vision, but I did hear what that idiot just said. Josiah, he really thinks he's gonna make some money. Yeah, yeah, that's right, but not on our watch. Man, Josiah, you're louder than a chicken in the morning. What? Now shut up for just a second. I'm thinking of an idea. And I got it. That idiot Luke thinks he can make a bunch of money and leave us to suffer? I think we need to take that money and make it ours. Mm-hmm. All right, well, this building looks like it'll be a good place to see if I can sell this car. Oh, my gosh. What's going on over there? Look, buddy, do you want the car or not? It's great, low miles, and it's only $20,000. $20,000? For that hunk of junk? Take it or leave it. I'm not going down on the price. No, wait, pal. You know what? You're wasting my time. If you're not buying the car, get off my lot. Uh, hey, do you run this place? Yeah, I'm Al, and this is Big Al's Used Cars. Look, buddy, I don't do charities, okay? So get lost. No, no, I'm not asking for anything. Listen, I fixed up this car a little bit ago, and, and I wanted to see if you buy it from me. You have this car? You know this is a Tesla, right? I mean, look at you. You're obviously homeless. There's no way you could have afforded this car. Did you steal it? Look, I bought it fair and square, okay? And I repaired it myself. If you want to test drive it, you can, but it works. Now, do you want to buy it or not? Whoa, you don't cut corners. I like that. How about I give you, uh, 50 bucks for it? 50 bucks? This is a car we're talking about here. Yeah, one that was completely broken and trashed after an accident. Look, take it or leave it. I'm not doing anything lower than 100. You know what? Fine. 100 bucks it is. All right, perfect. Wow, I did it. And hey, if you fix any more crashed cars, you know where to bring them. Yeah, for sure. Sure. This is the most money I've ever had in my life. Can't wait to show my dad. Look at this place, Dad. When was the last time we've eaten in a restaurant? Honestly, I can't even really remember. Well, get used to it. Because in the direction we're going, we're going to be having food even better than this one day. Man, this is some good eating. I'm really proud of you, Luke. Hey, thanks for the money, oh, idiot. Hey. <laughs> Hey, what's your problem, man? No problem at all. I just got rich. 2030 vision, here I come. Come back here. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Finally did one good thing for me and my family, and then, then this happens? Luke, we just need to count our losses with this one. Let's go back to the camp. No, Dad, I'm not going home. I'm gonna figure out another way to fix all of this.
Come on, there has to be something here. Just, just anything. Oh, great. Another homeless guy rummaging through the trash. Hey, buddy, get out of there. Wait a second. You're that guy that sold me that car. What are you doing? Listen, man, a guy came and stole all the money that I made from that car. It's either I do this or I just give up. And I'm not giving up. You know you look like a complete madman doing this, right? That's fine. I don't care what other people think. I just got to find some money and supply for my family. Ugh, look, buddy, get out of the dumpster, okay? Come on. Look, clearly you don't have much, if anything. But I have some respect for you from our business deal earlier. If you want to make some money, why don't you just come work for me? Wait, seriously? You're going to give me a job? Yeah, sure. Why not? But I'm not going easy on you, okay? Don't expect any sympathy from me. I expect nothing but hard work out of you. I promise, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I won't let you down. Feels great to finally be out of homeless clothes. Oh, that guy looks like he needs some help. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Of course you do, I'm Chandler. Sup, little man, you work here or something? Little man, yeah, I work here. Sweet, as you know, I am a billionaire now. A billionaire. And I wanna buy a new fancy car. All right, uh, do you know what kind of car you wanna buy? This one over here looks sweet, but I need to test drive it, okay? Yeah, sure, let's go. No, Chandler's the kind of guy that flies solo, okay? I wanna test drive it by myself. Yeah, sorry, man. I can't let you do that. It's against the company rules. Yeah, well, I break the rules. Sorry, man. <laughs> hey, hey, get back here. That guy's a billionaire and he still stole a car? Luke, what just happened? Why did that guy just drive off the lot with our most expensive car? Listen, he, he just... I don't even want to hear it, okay? You better go and get that car back pronto. You understand me? How am I supposed to go find a car from a criminal? You're resourceful. Figure it out. And if you don't get that car back, it's coming out of your paycheck. Oh, man. I gotta find this car. All right, here you go. This is all the medicine I want to buy. All right. This will cost you about 500 bucks. Wait, 500 bucks? I checked all the prices in all these. It should be like 100. Yeah, but you don't have insurance. I really need all this medication, okay? It's for my dad. Look, man, I'm just doing my job. I don't really care who you are or who your dad is. And I'm getting sick of repeating myself. You can't buy the medicine? Oh, they're gone. You don't have to be so harsh, man. I'm just a customer. I don't know what's going on with your day, but you don't have to take it out on me. Yeah, well, at least I'm not a poor loser. I have a job and insurance. Wait, you don't have insurance. Shut up, Bob. I'm trying to make a point. No, whatever. I'll find another way to get my dad his medication. Man, he's starting to get really sick. I need to find a way to get it soon. Whoa, do you hear that engine purr? Man, this car is lit. Oh, wait a second. That's Chandler. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. Uh-oh. That guy from the dealership. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, get back here. So long, sucker. You're never gonna catch me. Oh, come on, I gotta keep up with him. Ha ha ha. Look at him run with his little legs. Keep running, idiot. Keep... Oh! No, come on, man. Dude, this is the second car accident you've been in like two days. Give me that. Whatever, man. This is stupid. I can't believe I have to deal with this. I'm calling the cops. All right, good. I hope the cops are able to find that guy. Oh, Luke, you brought the car back with about 25,000 pieces. Listen, there's like nothing I could have done, all right? This guy stole it. He could have stolen it from you, too. I can't control him crashing it. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Kind of impressed you actually brought it back. I genuinely think you weren't going to be able to do it. But you're a pretty hard worker. Thanks. That actually means a lot. And look, I can't let that money come out of my paycheck, okay? I have a dad I need to take care of, and, and I'll do anything I can to help him. Well, you did bring the car back, so I won't take it out of your paycheck. Actually, I'll uh, give you a little extra. You're giving me extra? Why? What did I do? You actually did what I told you to do, which is a lot better than half the other dimwits I have working for me. Yeah, I'm talking about you, James! You did a good job, and you earned this. Now take it and go take care of your dad, okay? Wow, thank you so much. Of course. Keep doing what you're doing. Prove the rest of those idiots wrong. You see that, Dad? Say goodbye to sleeping outside on the streets. I finally got us an apartment. Luke, buying me these new clothes was more than enough. You don't have to do this. Listen to yourself. Of course I do. Me and you promised each other that we'd always be there for each other. And plus, you raised me into the person that I am today. It's the least I can do. Well, you're right. I did raise you. <clears throat> Just as I could. Do you feel okay? You look a little off. What are you talking about? I'm fine. <clears throat> uh, Dad? <clears throat> Dad? Dad! Wow, a few months really does change a place. The dealership has more cars than ever, and it looks great. Hey, good morning, Luke. Great news. We just sold the last Escalade. That's three in one week. I'm sure you know what date is today. It's payday. 
Here you go. Here's your paycheck. Oh, awesome. And you said I can go home early today, right? Yeah, of course. You can cut out early today. No problem. How's, uh, how's he doing? I'm about to go find out. I'll keep you updated, though. Uh, come on, you call that a pass? Blah, pathetic. Hey, Dad, how you holding up? I'd be holding up better if this football game was any good. <clears throat> all right, just, just take it easy. Yeah, don't worry about me, all right? I'm fine, fit as a fiddle. Dad, you can stop lying to me, okay? I'm not lying to you, I'm fine. Now, you do me a favor and go get me a glass of water or something? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll be right back. All right, thanks. <coughs> <coughs> I don't want Luke to worry about me. No nonsense in worrying about something you can't change. I can't let him know the truth. Yeah, so at this rate, if we keep going, we should be able to expand the business by twice its size. Oh my gosh, what's going on right here? I don't know, looks like some kind of traffic jam and something else is going on down there. Let's go check it out. Hey, listen here, buddy. You better move out of my way right now. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what happened to my car. It just won't start. I don't care about you or your stupid car, okay? Stop crying. Whoa, that's, there's a lot going on. Look, that poor guy's car broke down. The other guy is laying into him. Honestly, don't blame him. You know, this gets me thinking. What if we can somehow make better cars out there for people? You know, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, we should get started on that right away then. That's it. I'm driving into your car. Yo, dude, I need help over here. Hello? Wait a second, you? Hey, you're not welcome back here, man. I'm the Chandler, man. I get where I want. Dude, you can't just talk to people however you want to. What are you doing? Selling cars? Pathetic. I'm trading NFTs. I'm making billions in my sleep. Uh, I don't care, all right? Just leave me alone. With the idea I've got in mind, I'm going to be making plenty of money, too. Oh, uh, yeah? What's your big idea then, huh? I don't have time for this. I have to get back to work and make something out of myself. You should give it a try. Whoa, did he just talk back to me, the Chandler? Absolutely not. That idiot doesn't think I work hard. Oh, yeah? Who owns his own business? The Chandler does. That's who. Walter, where are you? Cha, this video game is so sick. Walter, stop playing Smash Brothers. Pay attention to me. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, dude, don't scare me like that. What, you weren't expecting the Chandler? Of course not. You're, like, never at work. This is actually the first time I've seen you here. Yeah, well, it's my company. You're my assistant, and I do what I want, so just shut up, okay? I have a new business idea, and I need you to start taking notes. Dude, you know I didn't know how to write. I'll try my best to remember it. Yeah, oh, sweet. That's perfect. So I was doing investigating on that stupid poor loser, Luke, and I found out something very interesting. He's patenting an idea for an electronic car. Cha, that sounds like a great idea. It's like more Teslas. Yeah, I know. And I can't have that idiot having better ideas than me. So I want us to create our own electronic car. That's way better than his. I'm going to run this idiot's business into the ground. Man, I really want to start this business, but there's this jerk that seems like he's just going to get in the way. Now you really think he's going to be a problem for your business? I don't know. This guy just seems like he always has a trick up his sleeve, and I just don't want to deal with it. All I want is to make the world a better place. This guy's only in it for himself. Well, you can just keep doing what I told you to do all those years ago. Keep your head down and work hard. And remember where you came from. Look, you grew up here, so keep humble, son. Of course. I'll never forget where we came from. That's been one of my biggest motivators since day one. Just keep doing what you're doing and you're going to be fine. Now let's get going. I'm thinking we should probably go out for dinner. Oh! Oh! oh my goodness, Dad! Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I got a little lightheaded for a second. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's just uh, keep going. All right, here it is, our new factory. It's time to start working on this car company. First, we've got to build ourselves a good prototype. Get some investors in, and then the business will take off. Well, first things first, let's get to work. I can't believe you designed this yourself. You know, Luke, you got some really good talent for this. Here. Yeah, thanks. Just glad to see it's actually becoming a reality. So this is gonna be what? The battery that runs the car? I know it seems weird, but just trust me. And here it is, it's finished. I uh, really hope this works. We got a lot of money riding on this. Don't worry, it'll work. Let me go try this. Come on, come on. <laughs> Look, it's on, it's, it's working. Oh, <laughs> let's go. This is incredible. I know it's, ah, oh man. 
on! What just happened? Looks like my math was a little off on some things. Uh, this is an honest attempt, Luke, but honestly, we should just give up. We don't know what we're doing. No, we're not just gonna give up. Here, just give me a couple days. I'll figure it out. All right, come on. It's working great so far. Just just keep going. Everything's doing fine, and yeah, this 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 works great. My son actually built a car. This is crazy. Man, I just, I don't know what the investors are going to think. They're going to look at this and say, wow, incredible. We want to give you billions and billions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. They will. Now, come on. I think it's best we go home. You look pretty tired. Maybe I could use a little nap. All right, let's get going then. I think this is where that idiot is keeping his prototype. Huh, there it is. Whoa, actually, this car looks sick, dude. I can't let this investor see this. They're gonna pick his car over mine, and I'm not gonna let that happen. So, if I just take this, huh, looks like the battery. Yeah, let's see if your car runs now, you big fat idiot. <laughs> Luke, today is our meeting with the biggest investor we could possibly have. We can't mess this up. We're not going to, okay? We just gotta stay calm and be confident. All right, I'll just use those breathing techniques you taught me in through my nose, out through my mouth. Yeah, okay, nice and relaxed. Nope, I'm still stressed out. All right, I'll just, just look. I'll calm you down. Here, I'll show you. The car's gonna start. See? W wait, what? No, it was just working yesterday. Um, Luke, you're supposed to be calming me down right now. What is going on? No, this, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. All right, so we gotta find a way to power this car. Um, uh, let me think. Uh, how about this? That is just a solar panel. What are we supposed to do with that? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Come on, come on. All right, let's try to start it. All right, awesome. It turned on, but uh, it's really low on power. I'll take it for now. Come on. We gotta go before we miss the meeting. So, what do you think of the Chandler Mobile? Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, this thing's actually very, very, very impressive. It's just, uh, man. What? Is it too lit? No, uh, I'm just waiting for my other client. There's no need for another client when you've got the Chandler, man. Mr. Bronson, hey, thank you so much for meeting with us today. Yeah, I'm so sorry we're late. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just so happy you guys are here. Now, what do you guys have to offer? There was a lot that happened over the last few hours, but we were able to make it work, so follow us. Is the car even on? Oh, no, it ran out of power. Power, wait, is this a solar-powered car? Uh, yeah, actually it is. We figured we might as well use some renewable energy, am I right? <laughs> oh, my God. Goodness, just way better than Chandler's car. Excuse me, what did you say? Take notes, Chandler, because that is lit. Listen, Luke, I'll think about my final decision and I'll call you and tell you what I think. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Come on, come on. He said he was going to call by now. Will you just calm down and relax? Do those breathing techniques you taught me. Our entire future depends on this right now. Are you really worried about that guy rejecting our offer? He'd be an idiot to pass this up. And I would say that right to his face. Maybe don't do that until we find out what their final decision is. Yeah, all right, all right, fine. Wait, the phone. Okay, this has to be them. All right, just stay calm, professional, and answer the phone. Come on, hurry. Okay, uh, hello? Hello, is this Luke? Yeah, yeah, I'm Luke. Oh, good. Um, my name is Dr. Armstrong. Uh, okay, why are you calling me? It's your father. He's in a coma. Wait, wait, what? I think it's in your best interest that you come down here right away. Dad, I can't believe this is happening. How, doctor? How did this happen? Your dad has been extremely sick for months. It looks as though it's taken an immense toll on him. Do we know how long he's going to be in a coma for? I mean, he can't be in one forever, right? Actually, we have no idea how long this will last. Sometimes people actually don't wake up from their comas. Okay, well, well I'll do whatever it takes to help him. I'll, I'll pay what I need to pay. Just I want to make sure he's okay. For now, just maybe talk to him. They say people can hear things when they're in comas. Man, Dad, why? Why? Why didn't you tell me anything? Why didn't you say it was getting worse? I should have been paying more attention. Luke, I'm uh, really sorry. How are you holding up? Man, I'm, I'm doing terrible right now. I don't know if I can continue working. I need to be here for him. The last thing your dad would want is for you to just sit around here and be sad the whole time. Yeah, you may be right. I don't know. You need to just keep working. You have an idea that could change the world, Luke, and you should stop at nothing to make sure that you make that happen. I know that's what your dad would want. You're right. I'm gonna do what I can to make it a better place. Oh, another phone call. Hopefully this one isn't as bad as the last. Hello? Oh, yeah, 
is uh is this luke yeah are you the investor yeah i am and i got some news for you sounds like it's gonna be good news well it's not i regret to inform you that uh we're gonna go with chandler's car what when i was there you said you liked mine more yeah but chandler wouldn't stop crying in my front door so i'm giving it to him i hope you understand Y'all guys, you all want the Chandler Mobile because you're the elite, the best of the best. Oh, I'm gonna really give it to this guy. Don't do anything crazy, Al. Let's just go talk to him. But look who it is, my so-called competition. Are you guys just like so sad that the investor went with me over you? No. I'm just sad the investor decided to go with someone that doesn't care. Wait a second. That looks familiar. I is that mine? Uh, no, that's the Chandler mobile. Duh. No, th that battery. Th that's my design. Oh, Luke, you better hold me back. I'm about to punch this guy right in the face. Accusing me of fraud. You're disgusting, man. You are a fraud and you're a thief. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some fans that want to buy my car. If you're not looking to buy, then you need to kick rocks, loser. Fine, but this isn't the last you're going to hear of me. Hey, Luke! Oh, hey, Henry. You laid on your rent! Listen, there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I'm a little low on money because of my dad's medical bills, and... Did, did, I, did I ask you? All I want is my rent! All right, uh, just calm down. Jeez, I'll give you the rent by the end of the month, okay? Yeah, well, you better, because if you don't, you're gonna be back out on the streets, you hear me? Loud and clear. Ugh. Good. I got some more residents I gotta yell at. Hey, George! Where's my rent? Jeez, okay, I gotta start thinking. I still have that prototype car. I think I have an idea. Yeah, the car's really great. It's actually one of a kind. I like things that's individual. Locks my two teeth, y'all. And this car, ooh, ee, she pretty, y'all. That's great, so you're gonna buy it? Oh my goodness. Yes, I would love to buy these vehicles from you, y'all, okay? I got this jar of coins. I think there should be like $300 in here or something like that. Honestly, at this point, I'll take it. Oh, hold on a second. There's a penny right here. So I got $300 and one cent. Thank you, Rufus. It's all yours. All right, Luke, what's the big deal? What have you got going on this time? I've had enough of all this stuff going on with Chandler. We're gonna make a solar powered car that's gonna top his car without a doubt. Yeah, that guy really gets to me. You sure I can't just like punch him? We're not gonna stoop down to his level. Come on, let's build this thing. You know, I actually think this is better than our first one. This might actually work, Luke. Oh, uh, hey, hey, well, what's that? Oh, this is our new car. We're really trying to change the world. It just looks like a normal car, man. What's so special about this, huh? This car's solar powered and no other cars like that in the world. That's impossible. No, it's not. Look, it's literally done. It's right in front of you. This is just a rip off, just like the Chandler mobile. I'm not anything like Chandler, okay? Yeah, shut up, Chandler 2.0. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Don't let that guy bring you down. We still have a lot of work to do. Oh my goodness, look at this car, it's incredible! Yeah, we actually invented it. It's solar powered and everything. Solar powered? I am a billionaire. And this is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my life. Well, if you want, I mean, we can take it out for a spin. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, everything worked. There was no problems or anything, and then you don't ever have to worry about gas. This car's amazing. I could drive this thing forever. You know what, Luke? I want to pay you a billion dollars. I want to put all that money and invest in your company. Because I believe in you. Y you do? Of course. Someone would be stupid not to. You have no no idea how much that means to hear it's just things haven't been going that great lately and yeah it happens kid when you're going against the world no one's gonna believe in you just gotta keep pushing forward you know it's exactly why i'm doing this so is this a deal or what it's a deal i promise i won't let you down I'm willing to put $45,000 into this company. How much are you going to put in? I'm doing $46,000. What? Come on. That's not fair. Oh, man. I should have really listened to Chandler 2.0. Luke, look at all of these people. They just want a bit of the action. This company is blowing up. See? All it took was just hard work, and we pushed through everyone's doubts. That's right, folks. Luke's new solar-powered car business is sweeping the nation. Soon everyone in the world will be driving these solar-powered cars, saving the planet. If you don't have one of these cars yet, then what are you doing? Stop by now. No one should be buying that stupid car. Everyone should be driving Chandler mobiles. I need to do something. I'm not gonna let my business fail. All because some homeless idiot got a chance of luck. Well, his luck is about to run out. So says the Chandler. All right, Luke, that's the last solar powered car of the day. That's like what? 20,000 in one day? Our productivity is flying. Crazy to think that half a year ago, I was on the streets and it's just weird to think about. You definitely have come a long way. By the way, how's your old man doing? Man, he's not doing any better. There's not much I can do when he's in a coma. All I could do is just talk to him and, and keep him updated on everything that's going on. I hope that he's listening. He's gotta be. And don't give up hope that he's gonna wake up. You've gotta have faith. 
Say, why don't we go out to dinner to celebrate? I think you could use a break. You're right. Let's go. The Chandler's back at it again. Think a locked door is going to stop me? Well, two can play at this game. It worked before. This will work again. I'll just take it and make it my own. Aw, sweet. Wait, what? How does he have a lot of customers again? Ladies and gentlemen, the Chandler has done it yet again. I'm introducing my brand new solar powered car. I call it the Chandler Mobile 2.0. That was mine. This car will change the world and the way we think about energy and stuff. And I want you all to know that it was I, Chandler, who brought this incredible... Wait a second. That's my solar panel. Chandler. Oh, stupid idiot. I'm so sorry, but you don't qualify to buy a Chandler 2.0. You're a thief. That's my solar panel. Uh, no, it's not. Why do you keep trying to steal all my glory? Dude, you're the one that's stealing from me. Why are you trying to make me feel sad? Yeah, why? Well, He's trying to make him feel sad. Yeah, this guy sucks. I feel so bad for Chandler. Listen, man, this is not over. Do you understand me? I don't know how I can let this happen. What am I supposed to do now? I can't just keep upgrading cars and have him just keep stealing my ideas. I really need you right now, Dad. I, I, I don't know what to do. Please just, just wake up soon. Um, you can stop crying, first of all. That's what you can do. Wait, wait. Dad? Dad! Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Just quit yelling. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But you need to stop worrying about Chandler. And find something else that you can do. So you did hear everything. Of course. I heard everything you said. All those days you came by and visited me, it meant a lot, Luke. I could hear you, but there was nothing I could do. But listen, and I know you can do this. Don't let that idiot stop you. You know what? You're right. Thank you, Dad. I'll be back in a little bit once you're ready for the hospital. I just, uh, I gotta go handle something real quick. All right, let's turn this on and see if it works. Excellent. Yeah, it works. And it makes me think. We know how to set up the solar panel. But Chandler, he has no idea what he's doing. So in hindsight, he definitely doesn't know how to set up a solar panel on his car. It's all looks. And we're gonna go prove that right now. Chandler! Chandler! Chandler. All right, everybody, calm down, calm down. I know you're all excited for the reveal of the Chandler 2.0 solar powered car and your moment has come here She is isn't she pretty? The entire world is watching Chandler is gonna show off his new solar powered car. No, he's not Chandler. You're a thief <gasps> What? You again? He has no proof, and he's just a sad, pathetic, poor loser. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you turn your car on, then, if it works? What? Turn the car on? This is a prototype. Yeah, but it's supposed to be the real deal, right? Show the people what they're going to be buying. Yeah, we want to we wanna see the car we're going to be buying. I heard the grill lights up. Fine, whatever. Here, I'll turn on the car. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! See? Caught on fire because you didn't know what you're doing because you stole my solar panel. I heard that someone committed a crime. And I'm here to put someone under arrest, y'all. No, Chandler can't go to jail. Oh, yes, you can. You is under arrest, and that's for sure, y'all. Get out of our rich neighborhood. There's no poor people allowed in this neighborhood. You get it? No, please. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry is for losers. Ah! Now stay out of our neighborhood. Come on, Winston, let's go count our money. Make sure he didn't steal it. Hey, what's that? It's a penny. Oh, this is just the luck that I needed. This penny's gonna change my life. I'll make sure of it. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. I haven't slept well in weeks. And I'm so thirsty, too. But you know what? I know that I'm gonna survive on this penny. This penny's gonna change my life. Oh, you're not welcome here. Get out. Seriously? Well, I better go try somewhere else. Come on, why won't this stupid old camera work? Whoa, that camera looks so cool. Hey man, nice camera. Yeah, it used to be. Nice penny. <laughs> wow, really? Well, if you want it, we can trade something for it. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna get anything for a penny. They've got like no value. Kind of like this camera, actually. You want the camera? A penny for a camera? Sure, here. Yeah, take it, man. Better than just throwing it out in the trash, which is what I was gonna do. Now I've got a penny. And now I have a camera. Thanks. Hey, Edward, check out what I got. It's a camera. I traded it for a penny. Okay, and what are you gonna do with that? It's just a camera, dude. The guy who traded it to me thought it was broken, but he just had the lens cap on the whole time. Look at this. Okay, a nice picture. What are you gonna do with it though? I'm gonna sell these photos to people. I think it'll work. You'll see. Portraits for sale, portraits. Come get your picture taken. 
Oh, that's a great picture. Thanks. All right. One, two, three. Smile. Just move a little bit to the left. Oh my gosh, this picture's awesome. Here. Whoa, 10 bucks? This is awesome. Yeah, no problem. You know there's a cool photography exhibit next week. You should totally go. You can sell your pictures there and probably make a ton of money. I'll see you around. Thanks for the photo. <laughs> Selling pictures on the pier? Oh, how quaint. And who are you supposed to be? Uh, you don't know who I am? Seriously? No, man. No idea. I'm Ronnie, but you can call me Sir. I can't believe you haven't seen me. I have a huge following on Instagram. Oh, okay. Good for you, man. You know that 10 bucks is nothing. Look at this. You see this steak I ate last night alone? Have you ever eaten something like this? No, I haven't. I've just been doing what I can to make more money. <laughs> oh, that's so charming. I can't believe there are still real losers out here in the world. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm so hungry. Here, fishy, fishy. Come on, take the bait. Edward, stop fishing right now. What? But I'm hungry. Well, then let's go get some real food. Get whatever you want. Seriously. This has to be some kind of joke, Daniel. Are we actually going to eat this? Look, don't worry about it. Just eat, okay? Oh, man, I am so full. I don't think I've eaten food like that in my whole life. I know. And look, if I keep taking these portraits, this will become the norm for us. You no, know, taking me out to eat like that, you really shouldn't have, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, man. You're my best friend. You know what, Daniel? I think this whole picture thing of yours really might work. After taking all those photos, I need to get some more film. Excuse me, do you have any film here? Oh no, not this again. How many times I gotta say, no homeless people in my store. Well, yeah, I might be homeless, but I have money. I need to buy some stuff for my camera. You have money? Don't put a snake in my boot. What are you talking about? Look, I have money. You don't have to act like this. Oh no, get out of my store. Are you kidding me? Hey, stop. I've had enough of people stealing from my store and I want you out. Come on, man, leave me alone. Oh! Oh. <laughs> That'll teach you to steal, stupid idiot. Now stay out of my store. I don't know my camera. I don't know if I can fix it. Ooh-wee, man. Yeah, this guy is busted up. So, do you think you could fix it? I can fix it, no problem. But I'm not fixing it for no five bucks. Please, it's all I have. The pot's just to fix the camera alone. I'll like five times that. Come on, please. Is there any way I could just pay the rest later? This camera's really important. Let me think about it. Uh, no. Sorry, I'm not doing it. A waste of my time. Just throw the camera out and buy a new one. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any better cameras than this one? Oh, no. That's the best one we got. Yeah, and it's the most expensive, too. I'll take it. Oh, look. It's you again. And your little camera's broken. <laughs> yeah, this guy fell on his face and broke his camera. You know what? Whatever. You're a jerk. And you're a jerk, too. Hey, man, it's you. What's up? Oh, hey, it was Mark, right? Yeah, and you're Daniel. Dude, I loved the photo you took of me the other day. It was awesome. Oh, well, thanks. Listen, I wanted to know if you could be the photographer for an event that I'm hosting. We'd love to have your photos there. Well, yeah, I'd love to, but my camera's broken. I'm not much help. Oh, man, that sucks. Is there any way I can help? I can give you the money to get it fixed if you need. Wait, really? You'd do that? Of course I would. But you'd be a big help if you could take those photos for free for me. Absolutely. You've got a deal. I think this should cover everything. Now can you fix my camera? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I can fix it. Ah! All right, here you go. Now get out of my store. Awesome, thank you so much. Now I can go back to taking photos. All right, now give me a big smile. This picture's gonna look great. I know you're gonna love it. Oh, this is awesome, thanks. All right, and perfect. Uh, thanks. Uh, is this okay? Yeah, this is perfect. And done. See, what do you think? Wow, that's the best picture of me I've ever seen in my life. Uh, look at this guy. He is so annoying. Everyone in town is talking about him too. I'm gonna put a stop to this. Man, this is totally worth it. I can't wait to show this picture to my grandma. You're gonna show that to your grandma? That photo is trash, man. Oh, really? I thought it was kind of good. No, this guy's pictures are lame. Ronnie, just leave me alone. Just shut up, okay? I can take a way better picture of you than this. Oh, uh, uh, okay. 
Yeah, see? Come on, look at this. Oh, uh, this is just a picture of you. Yeah, and you're welcome. It's way better that way anyways. Wow, you're a real jerk. Hey, I don't take those pictures for free. Ugh, you are so annoying, you know that? I can't believe how rude you were to that guy. Ugh, whatever. He's just gonna cry about it later. You know, you're not gonna get away with this for long. What, you think you're gonna be some big famous photographer? Yeah, right. No one's gonna care about you. Whoa, so this is it, huh? The big photo exhibit. There's so many people here. I'm getting kind of nervous. What? You nervous? Come on, Daniel. You got this. Thanks, Edward. You always know just the right thing to say. Well, now hopefully I can take the best picture here and win the prize. There's no way you can't win. Now, come on. Let's take some pictures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have collected all the photos that were taken today. And the winner of the photo contest is this photograph here by a man named Daniel. A true piece of work of the ocean waves. No way. This is insane. Daniel, come on up and collect your prize. I really won? I can't believe this. Best picture of the day by far. Because of that, you've won a thousand bucks. Here you go. Enjoy. I won a thousand dollars? Woohoo! This is awesome. <sighs> Ugh, stupid contest. Whatever. You know, Daniel, you really didn't need to buy me these new clothes. What are you talking about? Of course I did. You spent some of your prize money on this. You should have spent it all on yourself. No way. That's what friends are for. We help each other out. Well, thanks, man. Look, I gotta run. I'll catch you later. Thank you so much again. Yeah, no problem, dude. I'll see you later. Yo, dude, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah, sure. What's up? You're the guy that won the photo contest on the pier, aren't you? Uh, yeah, that's me. Man, you are super talented. Well, thank you. That means a lot. I'm going to put one of your pictures on my Insta. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm kind of an influencer. I've got like 1.5 million followers. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Maybe putting this picture will help you out, man. That would be so great. Thank you so much. No problem. You will be famous. Just wait and see, dude. Wow, I can't believe I can actually buy this stuff now. A little bit ago, I couldn't even buy an apple. Hey man, welcome into the cafe. What can I get for you as long as it's not a latte? I'll just have a regular coffee, please. Awesome, because I don't know how to make a latte. Huh. Oh my gosh, it's you! Uh, hi, do I know you? <gasps> Well, you should. My name is Donald J. Finkelberry. Nice to meet you. I know all about you. You're Daniel, the new superstar photographer. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I've seen all your work online, and you're basically, like, super famous now. Do you think you could do, like, a row of portraits for me, just for me, for my house? Uh, well, maybe. Sweet. I just want pictures of me everywhere, because I'm gorgeous. Whoa, wait a second. Is that Daniel? Uh, yeah, dude, Daniel, you're awesome, dude. Could you take my new Insta profile picture? No, you loser. Shut up. He's working with me. Uh, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed. Uh, I gotta go. Yo, dude, your coffee, man. Ugh, so dumb. That totally should have been me, brah. This is so great. Now that I have all this money, I can finally get a place for me and Edward to stay. Hey, Edward, pack your things, man. Pack my things? Why? Well, I've got a surprise to show you. Okay. Well, I don't have a lot of stuff, so that'll be easy. What are you up to? Just wait till you see this. Now, come on. Uh, Daniel, we shouldn't be in here. Well, you better get used to it. This is our new home. Welcome home, Edward. I don't know what to say. I'm crying. I'm actually crying. <laughs> Come on, let's go get your stuff. We gotta move in now. I just haven't had a home in so long. It's beautiful. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Of course, man. You're my best friend. I wouldn't want a room with anybody else. Did I just hear you correctly? Are you guys living here now? You actually have homes? Yeah, this is our new place, Ronnie. Wow, in the poor part of town. And it looks incredibly small. I think I have closets bigger than your apartment. <laughs> hey, man, back off, okay? This is the best we could do, and that's good enough for us. Oh, my gosh, you guys even sound poor. <laughs> Ronnie, what do you even want? Oh, I just wanted to come and remind you that no matter how much money you make, you're still just going to be a poor, pathetic loser. Seriously? That's what you wanted to say to me? Yeah, I didn't want all this new stupid fame of yours to go to your head and make you think that you're special, because you're not. And don't worry, you guys are going back to being homeless losers in no time. <laughs> and smile. Great, it's all done. Take a look. 
Oh my gosh, this picture is incredible. I think it's finally time I knock this loser down a peg or two. Can you take another one of my pictures, please? I want to send it to my mom. Yeah, sure. I just got to replace this film in the camera. Give me one second. Oops. Oh my gosh, watch where you're walking. <gasps> my camera. Ronnie, what's wrong with you? Oh, it's you. Sorry, honest mistake. I don't usually pay attention to trash while I'm walking. <laughs> oh, I can't believe him. My camera's soaked in coffee. Everything okay? over there uh yeah just one second man i hope this still works all right they're done what on earth is this oh no these pictures are garbage they're stained everywhere i want a refund a refund you didn't even pay me yet you're unbelievable i'm out of here wasting my time stupid pictures that was so weird. Huh? My phone's ringing. Hello? Daniel, it's me, Mr. William E. Mayor. You know, the mayor of the city. Mr. Mayor? Oh my gosh, what can I do for you? Well, I need you to come down to City Hall immediately. Wow. It's crazy that I'm even here to begin with. I mean, this is City Hall. I wonder why the mayor called me here. Oh, there he is, Mr. Mayor. What's that? Who's calling my name? Oh, Daniel, Daniel, nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. Obviously, I mean, look at me. Uh, yeah, so what's going on? I'm about to throw one of the biggest city gatherings this world has ever seen. I'm talking mayors, senators, representatives, anyone you can think of is gonna be at this event. Wow, it sounds pretty serious. It is very serious, Daniel. So serious, in fact, that I need the best photographer in the city there working the job. And that means I need you. Oh my gosh, really? You want me there? You are the best. And honestly, I could, uh, I could use some more headshots for my campaign coming up. Well, of course, I'd love to. Incredible. This is going to work out great for me as well as you, but more importantly, me. But don't worry, I will pay you for the whole thing. How does a 10K sound? 10K? $10,000? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Whoa, take it easy. It's only $10,000. Congratulations. Well, it's time to try out this new camera. Man, the clarity in this picture is insane. You know, maybe getting a new camera was actually the best move. All right, there you are. Don't move an inch, okay? Ronnie, what do you want? All right, going live in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Ron Ron here. Are you making a TikTok or something? Yeah, I am. There are 25,000 people watching. All right, guys, and I want to show you this loser right here. Hey, what the heck? He's getting a name around town as one of the best artists in the world, but honestly, he is pathetic. Ronnie, what do you think this is going to do? Well, it's going to put me on trending, and my viewers are going to side with me, obviously. They're going to side with you because you're being a jerk? Wow. Yeah, let's read through some of the comments right now. I love Daniel so much. No, well, that's just a that's just a random fluke. Daniel is the best. Great job, man. All right, what is with the comments? Wait, what are they saying? It's talking about uh, how much they like you and stuff. Oh, this is so dumb. That was a waste of my time. Well, looks like your plan backfired, Ronnie. Ugh, you're turning everybody against me. Now I'm gonna make you regret it. Yo, Daniel, sup, dude? Oh, hey, what's up, Stu? Nothing, you wanted to hang out. Sweet new place. Thanks, I just got it. So what have you been up to, dude? Uh, you know, just still taking photos. What about you? I've been invited to be the special guest at the art show in Town Square. Whoa, really? That's awesome. Yeah, it's only one of the biggest events around. I was actually just texting Olivia Rodrigo. She's gonna be there. Whoa, this sounds crazy. Daniel, this could be a huge huge moment for you. A moment for me? Yeah, dude, you need to be there to represent all your pictures and your art. There's a whole art contest and everyone votes. An art contest? Daniel, you could totally win that. You definitely could. And the cash prize is a million Robux. A million Robux? Cha, yeah, dude, Stu doesn't lie. And I definitely think you could win. People are leaving him. They don't look happy. I thought everyone loved getting pictures of me. I don't understand. If this actually works out for Daniel, then everything I said about him is gonna be wrong. And I'm never wrong. I need to think of something to do about this idiot. You know what? I think it's time to give my old pal Lonnie a call. 
Oh, Lonnie is staying at his parents' summer house. Must be nice. Yo, Ronnie, my dude, what's up? Lonnie, man, it's been so long, dude, but we have an emergency. An emergency? What's going on? Well, you know about that idiot Daniel, right? He's all over social media right now. Ugh, yeah, that guy sucks. And that's why I'm here, man. I want to do something about this. This is not right. He can't be more popular and famous than us. No one's more popular than Lonnie or Ronnie. Exactly. I need your help, man. You come up with the best ideas and know how to ruin people's lives better than anyone else. Please, teach me your ways. Man, I haven't been back to this park in a long time. It only feels that way because we used to live here. I know. And part of me feels like we still do in a way. Well, we're never going to forget all the hard times we went through. Like those days where... We were struggling to get food, or if it rained, we tried to find shelter. Remember that rat we found in the dumpster that one time? Ew, so gross. I completely forgot about that. Man, things have really changed, haven't they? Yeah, the moment I found that penny. And I noticed a change in you too, man. After you found the penny, you just started putting in all that hard work. It really is kind of inspiring. Really? You think so? Oh man, I know so. And I know you could go super far with taking all those pictures. The sky is the limit for you, Daniel. All right, breaking in this place was so easy. I gotta find out where his pictures for the competition are. I know that idiot took them already. He's gotta be hiding them somewhere. Oh, come on, come on, idiot. Where are those pictures? Perfect, here they are. <laughs> Daniel doesn't have these. Then there's no way he's gonna win that prize. Yo, dude, what are you doing? Sorry, man, gotta keep the story game strong. Yeah, totally. Look, your plan worked, all right? I got the pictures. That's great. Now that you have those, you should totally take credit for them. And this is why I keep you around, Lonnie. Because you're my best friend, you're a terrible person, and you come up with the best ideas. <laughs> and see, Mr. Mayor, all these pictures are from yours truly. I hope you like them. I had no idea you had it in you. Honestly, I thought you were a talentless idiot. Yeah, it's no big deal, you know. When you actually have talent, things just come to you naturally. Clearly. I mean, what do you guys think? This work is beautiful, isn't it? Of course it's beautiful. Because Ron Ron made it. I knew it! <laughs> What's wrong, Daniel? You look really upset. I just knew you had something to do with it. You stole all my work. <gasps> what? Stole your work? I don't know what you're talking about. Cut the act, Ronnie. You broke into my house and stole these from me. Wow, okay. Daniel, Daniel, calm down. Accusing someone of being a thief? That's a, that's a pretty bold claim, my friend. But it's true. I would never break into someone's house and steal. That's wrong. I don't know what's gotten into you, Ronnie, but you need to cut it out. You need to give me back my pictures. And Daniel, I think it's time that you leave. Yeah, Daniel's a liar. Look, he's about to make Ronnie cry. You are causing a scene, and I don't want you in City Hall anymore. Daniel, get to step in. This isn't over, Ronnie. Ronnie, I am so sorry that Daniel just came in here and verbally assaulted you like that. I know, it hurts my feelings. Well, don't worry, Ronnie, because your feelings are going to be irrelevant because you just won the art competition. Really? I did? Congratulations, you now own a million dollars. I can't believe Ronnie did that to me. He's just the worst. He's always such a jerk. You know what? Even though all that stuff just happened, I need to keep my head up. We'll make everything work, even though I haven't made a ton of sales lately. It'll turn around. I know it will. Hey, would you like your picture taken? From the person who tried to steal Ronnie's artwork? No way. Leave me alone. What? That isn't even true, though. Yeah, likely story. Once a liar, always a liar. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get in line. Line? What's this long line for? I'm gonna go check it out. All right, thanks again. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am selling selfies for a hundred dollars. Take your picture with me, Ron Ron. Or just take a picture of me. Either way, it works. Ronnie? Oh, I can't believe you. Hey, you loser. No cutting in line. Get lost. Yeah, get the back of the line. I want a picture with Ronnie first. Oh, Mr. Davidson, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm looking for the rent. Where is it? Look, sales have been a little rough lately, but I promise I'll have something soon, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Rent was due today. I know it was. I'll promise. I'll get it to you as soon as I can. You have three days, Daniel. Three days? And I want the rent paid in full. Otherwise, you're back out on the streets. Oh, man. 
man. How am I going to get the rent in three days? Especially when the entire city thinks I'm a liar. Hey, man. I overheard everything. We're in trouble, aren't we? Yeah, I think we might be. Hey, don't get upset, all right? Remember what you taught me. Never give up and keep your head up. I know, but I don't know what to do, Edward. Ronnie's stealing all of my business. If he keeps it up, we're going to be back out on the street for sure. I don't want that jerk to be right. Well, you've got to prove that Ronnie's the one that stole your work. You know, you're right. If I do that, everything should go back to how it should be. There he is right there. I'm going to go talk to him right now. This food's pretty good, don't you think, Lonnie? Yeah, it's perfectly rich just for us. Yeah, man, I'm loving this rich celebrity lifestyle. It just feels right, you know? Totally. Ronnie, we need to talk right now. Oh, great. A loser. Look, this is ridiculous. Your entire life is built on a lie. You stole from me. I don't know what you're talking about, Daniel. Just own up to it. I know it was you that stole those photos. You know what? I'm so sick of this. Yeah, I'm the one that did it, obviously. And what are you going to do about it, Daniel? I'm going to put things back the way they should be. People are going to believe that you're the one taking all those pictures? It's going to be tough when you don't have a camera. Hey! I'd like to see you prove me wrong now, loser. Huh. Are you kidding? Does it look like I'm kidding? Come on, Lonnie. Let's get out of here. The air is starting to smell like poor loser. Man, how am I going to get back in action now? I don't have a camera at all. And I only have one day left to get the rent. This is just the worst. All I have left is this apartment and my car. I guess I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, we could take this guy off your hands. We can't give you a full price, but at least it'll be something. That's fine. All right, let me go get some of the paperwork. Edward, listen, we're going to go back to being homeless, okay? Hey, man, that's fine with me. We've got to do what we've got to do. Yeah, you're right. It won't be like this forever, though. I promise. I know it won't be. So after selling the car, what's your next step? All right, so here you go. Brand new camera. Thank you so much. It's time for me to start from scratch again. So Daniel did the only thing he knew how to do. That was to get back to work. He started taking pictures of people. They were really reluctant at first and they didn't trust him. But after seeing their photos, they started to like him again and started paying him for his work. Daniel refused to let Ronnie win. And that determination led him to finding even more success than before. He started to gain notoriety again. It looked like Daniel was finally back on track. All right, you two. Now smile. Wow, these pictures look great. Great. And so do you guys. Congratulations. Thanks for taking these pictures for us. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll email them to you later, okay? Hey, Daniel, you might want to check this out. What is it? Oh, another art show at City Hall. But wait, Ronnie's being featured as the special guest? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, man, look at all the pictures. This man is so self-absorbed, it's kind of gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. But honestly, I'm more upset because the town still thinks Ronnie's taking those photos. Well, you and I both know for a fact, Ronnie can't do this on his own. Yeah, and I also know he's gonna try to steal my work again. And you know what? Maybe that gives me an idea. Ronnie! Ron Ron! Thank you so much for having this meeting for me today. I know your schedule is insanely busy. Yeah, that's what happens when you're the most popular person in town. I am so honored that you're gonna be our special guest at the show. And I'm glad we decided to kick that loser Daniel to the curb. Yeah, I know. It shows that you, Mr. Mayor, actually have good taste. Of course I do! I'm the mayor! And I'm really excited to see what you've got in store for us for this event. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Just a taste of what's yet to come. Uh, that's a picture of you. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, Ronnie, you are hilarious. Yeah, yeah, just a joke, right? Trust me, at the event, you're gonna need to give way better pictures than this. Why did you take this on an iPhone 4? No. Look, actually, I've got a jet. I'll talk to you later. See you at the event. Yeah, I'll see you there, Mr. Mayor. What am I gonna do now? The mayor just laughed in my face. Literally because it was a picture of my face. What does he know anyways? You know, I think it's time I go visit Daniel and get inspired. <laughs> Man, it feels good to be back in this apartment. Yeah, I'm glad I finally made enough money to get us back here. I wonder how long it's going to take for Ryan to crawl back to you. Not very long, I guess. Hey, loser, you and I need to talk, okay? It's a serious issue. What is it now, Ronnie? I need you to take some more pictures so that I can use them in the art show. Absolutely not. If I don't show up with good pictures, I'm going to be the last laughing stock of the entire town. Hmm, I wonder what that feels like. Ugh, come on. I'll even pay for the pictures this time. I'll give you like 50 Robux for them. There's no way I'm ever gonna take pictures for you. Ugh, fine. I don't need your stupid pictures anyway. I'll just Google them or something. Mark my words, Daniel. You're gonna regret this. We'll see about that. 
All right, so we know Ronnie is definitely gonna come back and try to steal pictures again. Of course he is. But you know, this time, we're gonna catch him in the act. But first things first, we need some photos for him to take. I was thinking the exact same thing. Now I'm just gonna set up the cameras around the apartment and we'll be good to go. I think that's the last one. So I guess now we just wait. You nailed the deal. Same thing as last time, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at these. These pictures are actually really good. Would you hurry it up already? All right, all right, fine. <laughs> It's like stealing candy from a baby. Now let's get out of here. Well, it looks like the cameras definitely worked. We caught them in the act. This time, I win. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been all extremely excited. The man of the hour, the moment, he is the only Ronnie. Thank you all so much for giving me the credit I deserve. Ronnie, I know everyone is extremely excited to see what new piece of artwork you've got for us tonight. Yeah, here you go. It's something simple I put together. Wow, I'm a complete Ah, it's hard for me to be speechless. I mean, I am the mayor. This was way too easy. That million Robux is as good as mine. You might as well hand it over right now, Mr. Mayor. Stop everything. Ronnie is a fraud. Daniel. Oh, great. Here we go again. You keep saying I'm a fraud, but you don't have any proof. Actually, I do have proof. Take a look at this, everyone. It's a video of Ronnie and his dumb friend stealing all of my stuff. What? No, he's a liar. That must have just been a Photoshop video. A photoshopped video? Even I know that's not a real thing. Gentlemen, arrest this man. No, please. Please don't. Get him out of my sight. Daniel, I am so sorry for everything. I can't believe that Ronnie manipulated us like that. You were the real artist the whole time. I'm just glad you know the truth now. And I'm glad I can give this million Robux to the man who deserves it. You. Congratulations, Daniel. Yeah, he has a penny, you loser. Wow, this, I can't believe this. This is the most money I've had all week. Well, I know that guy was being a jerk, but he actually really helped. And I know, if I do the right thing, this penny could make me into a millionaire. Hey, you! What are you doing on my property? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was yours. Get out of here. You don't even belong in this neighborhood. Homeless trash. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. I can do whatever I want, but I'm gonna punch you in the face unless you get out of here. Oh. Fine, jeez, what is wrong with people? That's right, you better go! <laughs> You really want to open a bank account with a penny? Listen to yourself, dude. Hey, it's all I have, okay? This is my start to becoming a millionaire. A millionaire? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Leave me alone. Do you have any idea how rude you're being right now? Oh man, just leave me alone. I have work to do, all right? Oh my gosh, dude. This chair sucks. What's wrong with it? What's it to you, huh? The cushioning is just a little off, that's all. And it's got this stupid squeak. Oh, there it is again. You hear that? Well, look, I, I think I can help you. I can probably fix it. You, really? You? You, you think you can fix a chair? Yeah, of course I can. All right, engineer. I'll tell you what. You fix this chair, I'll give you five bucks. All right, perfect. Oh, I see your problem. If I put the penny here... Yeah, look, see? There's no more squeaking. Yeah, yeah, and it's not wobbly, and it doesn't suck. Oh, my gosh, dude. A penny is useful for something. All right, all right. A deal's a deal. Here, here's five bucks. And I'll tell you what. If you come back with 500, I'll give you an account. Oh, you're on. I'm gonna turn this five bucks into 500, no problem. Just wait and see. I have to admit, this is the first time in a long time. I'm actually excited about something. I'm feeling like optimistic. I am going to be a millionaire. And it all started with that penny. I just got that $5 and I was able to find some food in the trash today. I really do think my luck is finally changing. Maybe that penny was lucky or something. What's going on over there? It looks like that guy's in trouble. Hey, is everything okay? Your car having problems? Yeah, I don't understand this thing. It breaks all the time. Well, maybe I can help you fix it. Good luck fixing this, all right? We ran out of gas too and everything. But I'll tell you what, if you can fix it, I'll pay you back for everything in the gas. Actually, double it. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm more than willing to just help. Hey, I told you, deal's a deal. All right, f fine. I'll run to the store and grab some gas for you. Thanks. You know, I got a baby in the car. I can't really walk with him in the rain. Yeah, no problem. Just stay put. I'll be right back. Got you some gas right here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Yeah, no, of course. You're stuck here on the side of the road with a baby? It's the least I could do. Yeah, well, everyone else just drove right past me, so. Yeah, I know what it's like being looked over and stuff. But here, the gas is for you. And this is for you. Take it. Take the 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks? Oh, this was too much. This wasn't the deal. Yeah, well, deals can change, all right? And you're a good person. You deserve this. Wow, thanks. Thanks again. 20 bucks. Well, Chet, now that you've got 20 bucks, what are you gonna do with it? There's gotta be another way to make some more money out of this. Anyone, please, uh, you, you, uh, spare change anything? Are you all right? 
you look kind of sick. No, I'm not. I haven't eaten in days and people just keep making fun of me. You don't sound okay either. Yeah, I think I have a cold for being out in this rain for too long. It's, it's freezing outside. Yeah, I know what it's like. Living on the streets is not easy. I'm really sorry. I I'm Chet. What's your name? Uh, I'm Paul. Well, Paul, I have a little bit of money that I've been trying to save, but why don't I buy you some lunch? Wait, really? You're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna buy me food? Yeah, of course. You said you haven't eaten in days. It's the least I could do. Oh, thank you. I'm, no one's ever done anything this nice for me before. People don't do nice things for me either, but we're all human. I've got you, Paul. Don't worry. So what are you in the mood for for lunch, huh? No, thanks again for all of this. Yeah, no, of course. To be honest, I was actually kind of hungry too. So what happened? What made you live on the streets? Well, uh, I used to be an investor in my old city, but there was a war that happened and everything, literally everything got destroyed, including my career. I think I remember hearing about that war. I'm so sorry. Luckily, I made it out and I escaped here, but I had no money, no home, and no family. Yeah. I understand that as well. I've been alone my whole life. Always just trying to get by. But now, my luck is starting to change. I'm gonna turn over some money. I'm gonna make it into a million dollars. Oh no, wait. Did I stop you with any of that? You shouldn't have spent your money on me then. No, please. It was ten bucks. It was the least I could do. And plus, I couldn't just leave you out there. I'm really glad to help. Well, I promise. I'll pay you back one of these days. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just happy to have finally made a new friend. Alright, I've gotta get a job. It's probably the best way I can make some more money. Uh, excuse me, sir. Get out! Get out! What? Excuse Excuse me? Your clothes are gross. They smell up the entire place, and you're gonna scare my customers away. Look, sir, I'm just looking for a job. There's no way I'm gonna hire you. Why are you trying to find a job? You're homeless. I might be homeless now, but I won't be homeless forever. I'm gonna be a millionaire one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you. I needed a good laugh. Uh, why does everybody keep saying that? Because it's literally impossible, okay? Welcome to Earth, kid. Look, I'm gonna turn money that I have into a million dollars. I'm smart. I can do this. Well, if I are you, I start by investing some of your money into new clothes and getting out of my store. Ugh, you're the worst. Maybe that guy was right. Maybe I should invest in some new clothes. These... <laughs> Ugh, these do kind of stink. All right, that's what I'm going to do first. New clothes, and then a new job. You know what, Paul? For once, I'm actually excited. I'm going to invest in myself. I don't have a whole lot, but I'm sure I can find something nice here, right? Yeah, I mean, since you only have 10 bucks, and maybe you should try getting something, like, plain and cheap. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm going to go try something on. Well, this doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Oh, wow. You look good as new. It looks great. Yeah, I figured a little color was better than something plain. I want to make a good first impression if I'm going to get a job. Well, I think with that attitude, Dude, you're definitely gonna get it. Yeah, I hope so. I kind of feel more confident now. Good. You need it, all right? It's all about your mindset. Go in with a good mindset and show those people who's boss, and you'll get the job easy. Yeah, you're right. I will. Thanks, Paul. You know, if I didn't have you, I don't know if I'd be as confident, but I'm sure now. I'm gonna find a job. Excuse me, are you in charge around here? Yeah. Name's Guy. How can I help you? Well, I really need a job. Trust me, kid. You don't want to work here. What? Well, why not? The job I have available is gonna be pretty gross. You gotta go in the sewers and fix them. By hand. Well, I can do that. I'm really good at fixing stuff. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy till you get some sewage on you. Look, I don't care. I'm just happy to get a chance. What do you say? Oh, we got an emergency in one of the sewers right now. So, if you can do it, I'll give you 300 bucks. Three hundred dollars? Yeah. And if you fix it, you keep the job. But if you don't, you're out. And you don't get the money. Oh, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, get going. This is an emergency. Oh, man. This does stink down here. What is that? I hear like a rumbling sound. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's going to be a flood. The gates are probably breaking. One of them is stuck down. I've got to find a switch or something. I've got to get the gate back up. Oh, which one is it? What if it's this one? All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> I did it! I saved myself from a sewage flood! Wow, I am gonna have this job. That's for sure. $300. Paul, look! I seriously turned a penny into $300! That's awesome, Chet. I knew you had it in you. I have some things in the work, too. And I think if you get enough money, I can teach you how to invest it and make a lot more. Really? You teach me that? That's what I was thinking the whole time. Look, we're in this together, okay? And I'm sure with both of each other's helps, we can get to where we want to be. Yeah, you're right. Man, Paul, I'm happy to have met you. You're a really good friend. Me, too. Probably the only person in my life right now. Being around you has just inspired me. And I want the best for myself again. It's been a rough year. And it's gonna be an even rougher five minutes. Uh, Jerry, listen, go away, all right? I don't have time for you. Oh, 
You think you're better than all of us homeless people now. I heard you. You got money. I don't think I'm better than anyone. You think you're fancy with all the fancy clothes, huh? Hand over that money. Uh, Paul, I think we should get out of here. Yeah, Chad, run. Or this way. Hey, you're not running from me. Ow! Oh, man, my ankle. <laughs> idiot. Thanks for the money. No, no. You seriously got robbed? That's awful. Yeah, all that money gone. But at least I have this job. That way I can keep bringing money in. Yeah, at least that's true. You should be excited. I am. I finally have a chance. And Paul, you and I can't keep living the way that we're living. On the streets, struggling day by day just to get food? That's not right. And we're changing it now. Yeah, I agree. Especially if there's a bunch of people that are around that are so quick to try and steal our money. Do you have any ideas? Well, I'm going to save up as much as I can from working here. Then we can invest our money in an apartment. I think that's the best place to start. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I really don't want to be homeless anymore. It's been so long. Don't worry, Paul. I'll help you out. You're the only person I can trust. Chet, we need you! Get over here! There's a sewer emergency! Oh, uh, I need to get out of here and take care of that. I'll talk to you later, Paul. Oh, man, this is gross. I'm exhausted. Hey, Chet, good job. You fixed all the backup pumps, right? Yeah, they're all good now. What's wrong? I'm just tired, that's all. It was exhausting. Yeah, it was a lot of hard work. One one day, though, when I'm a millionaire, I'm gonna look back on this job. This is the best learning experience I've ever had. What? Are you serious? Yeah. This job is tough. Not easy at all. But I'm still making it through, and I'm doing a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah. And you wanna be a millionaire, huh? Yeah, that's my goal. It all started when I found this penny. Well, some guy threw a penny at me, but still. Well, everyone's gotta start somewhere. I started off with nothing, too. And look, now I'm here. I'm doing pretty good. Really? You started from nothing, too? I wasn't always this big, successful man that you see today. Yeah, that's my goal, too. I'm gonna get there. Well, this hopefully helps you on the way. I'm gonna give you a bonus for doing such a good job. Thousand bucks. What? Whoa! A thousand dollars! Thank you! Thank you so much, guy! Eh, don't mention it. Now go clean yourself up. You look like a mess. And here we go. Wait, what is this place? I know it's not pretty, like pretty at all, but just come check it out. I've got something to show you. This is our new place. So what do you think? Not too bad, huh? Wait, seriously? We're not going to be on the streets anymore? Nope. That time in our life is over. I invested that money and I got us a place to live. Chet, th this is amazing. Th this is great. I always knew you had it in you. Yeah. Now you're going to live with me and we'll be successful together. Man, you've really been too kind to me. I haven't returned a single favor back yet. Uh, don't worry about it, man. Helping people isn't about getting something back. Yeah, I, I like that mindset. But still, I'm gonna contribute somehow. I promise. Well, I have a paycheck coming this week, so maybe you can help me invest some of the money like you said. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. It's just, it's been a really long time. I mean, what if I lose it? Well, sometimes it's a little risky, but I think it's worth the risk. No matter what, Paul, we'll be millionaires one day. You'll see. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hey, guy, what have we got planned for today? Oh, my gosh, guy, what happened? What? happened. Look around, bozo. Our office has been trashed. Y yeah, I can see that, but how? A group of your stupid homeless friends came and destroyed the place. I caught them all on security cameras. What? Those people are not my friends. Plus, I don't live on the streets anymore. They robbed me and took my money. Why would I be friends with them? Well, they probably knew you were working here. Probably hiding some of that money I gave you, and they came looking for it. Look, they're just mad that I'm doing well, and they're not. Look, I can't be having any of this. This is a professional business. Look, I know. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'll start cleaning this up. No, you're not. You're fired. Now get out. Wh what? Guy, no, please don't do this. You telling me how to do my job, huh? You're unbelievable. Guy, please, I need this job. What you need to do is to get out of my face. Now go. Oh, Chet, there you are. Wait, what's wrong? I just lost my job, Paul. Wait, seriously? How? What happened? Guys that robbed me, they came and trashed their office. Guy was so mad, he just told me to leave. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. At least I have some good news. What is it? I could really use the good news right about now. You know the money that you gave me to invest? I was able to double it. What? You're joking. No, I'm serious. We have $2,000 now. Oh, man, that is really good news. And listen, if we just keep investing, it's only going to come out greater. And look at you. You thought you couldn't do it. Yeah, man, well, it helped that you believed in me. Well, I'm slowly starting to realize now how this whole millionaire thing is going to work for myself. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to figure out what to do. I can promise you that. With Paul and 
investing that money, at least I'm not completely broke. But I still need to find a job or some way to make some money. Man, that car has seen better days. Ooh, oh, that must be the owner. You know, I'm really good at fixing things. I bet I could fix up his car. Maybe he'll pay me. Hey, excuse me, sir. Yeah, what do you want? I'm extremely busy. I just wanted to talk to you about your car. This thing? No. Now, I would never drive this piece of trash. Oh, so you're not the owner? Uh, no. What do you think I am? A poor? Ew. I'm selling it for scrap metal. Someone's gonna come pick it up, wherever they are. And I've been waiting for like 15 minutes. Uh, well, how much are you selling the car for? Uh, probably like a thousand bucks. Well, I'll give you $1,200 cash for it. What? You're gonna pay more for this? I mean, look at it. This literally is the worst piece of junk car on the planet. Yeah, no, definitely. 1200 bucks cash. What do you say? Uh, if you're willing to give me money for this, I'll take it. Whew, man, after three long months, this thing looks pretty nice now. I basically rebuilt it from the ground up. And I've already got someone lined up to buy it. All right, let's take this car over to this guy. Give it a little test drive. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me you is Chet, y'all. Uh, yeah, you're Rufus. You want to buy this car? Um, excellently. Yes, I do. Oh, look at this. It's so party. This car is, um, what did they say? It's lit, y'all. Yes. Oh, awesome. Well, it's all yours. I put a lot of time and hard work into this car. My goal was to sell it for $30,000. Okay, that's a deal. Here, take the monums. I don't need it now, Mo, because I got this sweet party ride. Whoa, 30 grand. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Now, tell me, how do I drive this thing's a gams? Paul, you don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? No, I, I think I'm sick. Well, maybe this will help you feel a little better. Look, I sold that car I was working on. I got $30,000. 30000 Wow, I, I can't believe it. <coughs> Wait, Paul, take it easy. I'm okay, I, I promise. I'm just, I need to lie down, I think. I don't think so. I think we need to take you to the hospital. <coughs> oh, no, uh, we can't afford that. It's too expensive. You're talking to a man who has a bag of $30,000. If you need some of this money, I'm here for you. It's yours. Good, then let's use the money and invest some more, okay? Uh, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? Because if you need to go to the hospital, we'll take you right now. Yes, I'm sure. Let's get back to work, okay? Okay. Well, after selling this car, I think I found out what my new business is going to be. I'm really excited to tell you about it. So you're interested in running this place, huh? Yeah, I actually think this spot might be perfect. All right, well, I'm warning you right now. It's going to cost you. Well, I'm willing to pay whatever. You got to spend money to make money, right? I like that mindset, and because of it, I'm raising the rent another 500 bucks. Wait, what? Make it 750 extra. All right, a deal's a deal. Put it there. Uh... Thanks. I'll come by with a check tomorrow. All right, good. I need the money. I'm in serious financial debt, okay? Congratulations, kid. Hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, hey, doctor. How's everything going? What? I'll be right there. Oh, Paul, I'm so sorry. You are my best friend. I miss you. I hope you wake up soon. How you doing, Chad? Oh, hi, doc. Any news on Paul? How is he really doing? Not so good. He has a sickness and it put him in a coma. I'm sorry to say, but possibly expect the worst. This is my best friend. I'll do whatever it takes to help him. What can I do? I don't know if there's much that you can do, realistically. We're doing the best that we can here. I just hope it's gonna be enough. Don't worry, Paul. Everything's gonna be better. I'm gonna find a way to make this right. If it comes down to it, we were, uh, able to locate some of his family. Wait, he still has family? Yeah, it's not much, but it's all he's got, right? So we're gonna transport him away closer to them. You're gonna take him away? Uh, I'm glad he still has family left, and, and he should be with them, but... I'm gonna miss him. I'm not gonna be able to come visit. I don't have anybody. Paul's the only person I have. And if I were you, I would say your goodbyes. In six months, I went from just fixing cars on the street to having my own car dealership. Oh, look, I think there's a customer. Hi there, sir. I want to buy a car. Well, you came to the right place. This car here actually just came in the other day. Hmm, I offered to buy it for $50,000. It's perfect. 50 grand? Absolutely. I'll do that for you. No problem. Haha, <laughs> all right. Perfect. Here, take the money. Well, cash? You're not gonna finance? No. Oh, sure, I like to buy straight up front only cash. Don't like to leave my fingerprints anywhere. Okay, well, thank you so much. Enjoy the car. The sling goes so fast! Wow, I have $100,000 right now. Never in a million years did I think I'd have this much money. If he was still here, the first person I'd go show this to is Paul. He'd be so excited. He'd probably take some of this and invest it too like he used to. I wonder what happened to all that money anyways. Oh, uh, that's okay. I have enough money now that I can go and buy more cars. Maybe get a better place to live. I gotta keep moving, keep upgrading. That much closer to being a millionaire. I just wish Paul could see this. I wonder if I can find some old cars here that I can fix up. Let's see what they've got. Hey, 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 you're not welcome here. What are you 
you doing on my property? Oh, you're the owner. My name is Chet. I'm actually here looking for some old cars to buy. Ah, you want to buy some old cars, huh? I recognize you. You've been stealing business from everyone around here. Stealing business? What What are you talking about? I'm just buying cars, fixing them, and selling them. And I'm doing a pretty good job at it. Uh, yeah, well, I'll never sell cars to you because I can do it better. These cars are mine at the end of the day. Look, man, you own the junkyard. I totally get it. But it's your job to sell this stuff. I want to give you money for some of these cars. Isn't that what your job is all about? You think I'm only the owner of this stupid junk? No. Me and my brother have a side business and I've been losing all my money because of you, Chet. Well, look, man, I'm really sorry you're losing money, but I'm just doing my job. Well, I'm doing mine, all right? So if you don't mind, get lost. Fine. I'm out of here. I'm so glad I left that dingy old apartment. Now I actually have a home. This place is mine. I'm so close to being a millionaire now. I can almost taste it. I just can't wait to get there. I feel like so motivated more than ever. I just wish Paul was here to see all this. He'd be so happy. Oh, did that penny make me some money, but it brought me to my best friend. Oh man, why am I getting emotional right now? <laughs> I just, I just miss him so much, that's all. I wonder if I can find a way to go visit him or something. I hope he's doing okay. Man, not knowing anything? I, just, I feel like it's starting to get to me. Oh, it's my phone. Hello? Oh, hi, officer. How can I help you? What? No, 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 no. I'll be right there. No, 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 no. Every single car is gone? Uh, are you the owner of this place? Yeah, officer, I'm Chet. Well, do you have any idea who'd do anything like this? I'm not sure who would do this. It might have been the guy from the junkyard. I went by the other day and he seemed really mad. Said I was stealing his business. Oh, that guy. Yeah, plenty of reports around the city about him. Honestly, not a bad lead. I just didn't think he'd go this far. Actually stealing my cars. Don't worry, all right. I'll look into it. It's my job to. Thanks, officer. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All of my money was tied up in those cars. They were ready to be sold. Well, I'm just warning you now, all right? Even if we do find this guy, there's a good chance we're not gonna find the cars, all right? So expect the worst. Please, do your best. I need those cars back. We'll try, all right? But you'd be surprised what I see on a day-to-day -day basis. This type of stuff happens all the time. He probably sold them for scrap or I don't know. This can't be happening. I'm gonna lose so much money. What am I gonna do now? Oh, Chet, think, think, think. You can usually solve your problem. Problems, but what are you gonna do now? Literally, someone drove away with all of your money. I can't give up. I've gotta figure something out. Oh, what is it now? Hello? What? Paul? Oh my gosh! Chet, it's amazing to see you. I miss you, man. I miss you too. Look at you. Man, you're in like a suit, looking all professional and stuff. Come in, come in. Yeah, I made a full recovery. And I honestly wasn't expecting to see those family members there waiting for me when I woke up. Yeah, when we talked, you said that you weren't sure you had any family out there. I didn't think I did, but I guess I had some extended ones out there able to take care of me. Yeah, you look great. You looked healthy and really sorry I couldn't help more when you were sick. I was trying to do everything I could. Really sorry. Chet, you literally saved my life. If it weren't for you, I'd probably still be on the streets and who knows how I'd end up. Well, it's been a long time. What have you been doing? Like I told you originally, I stuck to my plan and I went back into investing. That's kind of part of the reason why I came here today. Uh, Paul, what is that? That is my payback to you. I told you sooner or later I'd do it. $500,000. 500 thousand dollars. Paul, that's incredible. Yeah, it was a return on the investment that we made a long time ago. Honestly, I kept on forgetting about that money. I can't believe this is actually going to be great. You can help me buy more cars now. And I want to stay in town and make sure to help you out, all right? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You and I work better as a team. Plus, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. I have to tell you all about it. Man, it was a lot of hard work fixing these cars, getting them ready to be sold, but I'm closer to being a millionaire now than before. Paul helped so much getting this back together. And if I sell a few more cars think i can actually be a millionaire are uh, you stupid good for nothing idiot uh, you again what do you want you stole all my customers you understand that do you know what you did to me it's more like what you did to me i know you were the one that stole my cars in the first place <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. With what proof? I don't need the proof. I know it was you. Listen, man, this isn't going to be the end you see of me, you understand? Ugh, well, I wish it was. Why don't you just stay out of my way and stay out of my life? <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm not good for nothing, idiot. Gotta find a way to steal his business from him. Hey, 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 my favorite customer. Where's Rhett, huh? Hey, uh, Gene, old buddy, uh, it's uh, been a while. Yeah, it's been a month since the last time I came to collect Rhett. Now, where is 
is it? All right, cough it up, cough it up. Oh, um, well, about that, I, uh, I don't know. I don't have enough exactly right now. You don't have enough? Hey, buddy, it's past the third, all right? You gotta pay it up. My wallets are getting kind of thin here. I need the extra money. Uh, don't worry. I, 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 can, uh, I can come up with the money. It'll be fine. You're seriously gonna stop paying rent late, huh? You know I don't like it when my tenants pay late. It's gonna come with some consequences. Please don't do anything irrational, all right? I promise I'll give you the money in a, in a couple days. No, no, no. I don't put up with that type of behavior, all right? I already got my own stuff I gotta worry about. You lose this place, and I'm gonna sell it to someone else more deserving. No, no, I can get the money. I can get the money. But you better find out how soon. Otherwise, kiss your life's work goodbye. All right, I gotta figure something out and figure it out fast. Huh, this is a nice, expensive car. I think if I take this, it'll help me out dearly. You know, I had a feeling you were gonna come back here. Uh, I just wanted to come by and say hello. How's your day going? I also, you know, this is a really nice car. Yeah, and I know you were gonna steal it. Yeah, well, uh, it's not fair that you're getting all my business, okay? You know I'm gonna lose my home now, right? Sorry, man. It's not my fault I'm a successful business owner. It's not my fault that I don't treat people badly like you do. Shut up, all right? You don't know anything about what it takes to become a good business owner. I bet you've never had a tough day in your life. Look, man, you barely know me, okay? This business that I've built, all of this started with just one single penny, and I'm not gonna let anybody get in the way of me and my success. Yeah, you're a loser, all right? Let me go. No, I'm sorry. I already called the police. In fact, yeah, that's them now. They're on their way. You're not going anywhere. All I have to say, this car is exceptionally beautiful. This is a one of a kind. I absolutely have to have it in my collection. Excellent. The car is yours. All right, you said it was going for $500,000, yes? Well, here you go. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, I carry $500,000 around on me. This is some chump change. Thanks for the car. And thanks for the money. Chad, you actually did it. Yeah, I sold that car. Full price. $500,000. You're a millionaire, man. <coughs> oh, man. What just happened? The entire city is destroyed. I can't believe I lost everything. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, my gosh, a penny. Maybe I didn't lose everything after all. You know what? I'm going to turn this penny into a billion dollars. I'm going to rebuild my life, and it's all thanks to this penny. Ah, out of my way. Ah, it's mine now. Hey, what? That's mine. Finders keepers, idiot. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Oh, uh, hey. Listen here, buddy. This penny is all that I have left. Hey, where's Gwen? I don't know, he ran over here. My friends are coming to help me. Looks like you're outnumbered. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. That storm took everything. All that's left is just a bunch of criminals. I need to get out of here so I can start my new life. All right, Nick, it's finally time to start over in a brand new city. Man, I'm exhausted from running away from those Yo, guys. Kevin, stop the car. Uh, what do you think you're doing here, man? Just walking. Yeah, well, this isn't a place for poor people to be hanging out, okay? Uh, yeah, you tell him, Kevin. I just told him, Jerry. Look, I'm starting my life over, all right? I came to the city to work hard and be a billionaire. Oh, yeah, all right, man. You'll never be a billionaire. Yeah, he looks so... You guys just shut up, okay? I have every right to be here. We don't want poor people in our town, okay? I bet you don't even have anything worth of value. Oh, yeah? Well, check this out. What is that? Dude, is is that a penny? It is a penny, actually. Whoa. Dude, I've never seen one in real life. I thought they didn't make them anymore. I thought they were just a myth. How much do you want for it? What? You want to buy this? Yeah, this will blow all of our rich friends' minds, dude. Uh, how about five bucks? Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's so cheap. Yeah, I blow my nose with five dollars. <laughs> this thing's probably worth a couple hundred. Um, it's only worth a penny. Yeah, all right, dude. Whatever. Just shut up. We're not talking to you anyways. Come on, Jerry. All right, this is awesome. Now I've got five bucks. Oh, man, I'm starving. I don't know how I'm going to get anything to eat with just five bucks. I guess I could see if there's anything to eat out of the trash. I got to do what I got to do. Carl, you said you were going to take these crates and get rid of them. Yeah, I will get rid of them. But first, I want $10,000. $10,000? That's way too much. You can't pay it. I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, excuse me? What's going on over here? Uh, this doesn't concern you, poor broke idiot. Unless you want to fix a bunch of broken phones. Well, actually, that sounds like something that I could totally help with. Wait, really? Because this bozo wants $10,000 to get rid of this stuff. Well, how about this? I'll buy them off you for five bucks. Yeah, totally. Sold. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. We had a deal, Donnie. Yeah, we had a deal until you raised the price, Carl. All these broken phones are yours. Awesome, thank you. The what? Some dumb poor idiot's gonna steal my business? This isn't gonna be the end of this, yeah, I promise yeah, you Yeah, yeah, whatever. Man. Drive away, Carl. Where's the five bucks, kid? Oh, right. Here you go. 
Excellent. Thanks for getting rid of these for me. What are you going to do with a bunch of broken phones anyways? Well, I actually used to build electronics. So I could totally fix these up and sell them. Wait, really? Wow, that's kind of impressive. I'm going to turn these phones into a billion dollars. That way I can rebuild my hometown. Yeah, great idea. Look, it's good to dream big, kid, but get real, okay? Good luck with everything. And that's the last one. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, obviously. Thanks for the new phone, idiot. Well, I'm glad that you're happy with it. Have a great day. Gotta go text my friends. Hey, Uni, what's up? <laughs> fat idiot. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe I made $3,000 off of this. So I'm gonna take out the trash. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what are you doing? You don't have a permit to run this business So here. you're just gonna destroy my booth? Hey, not my problem. City hired me to remove this junk. This isn't junk. This is my business. From my perspective, this is nothing but junk. Just like you. Trash. Loser trash. Dude, just shut up. What's the matter with with you. What's the matter with me is what's the matter with you, huh? You stole my business from me. Look, it wasn't anything personal. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, you weren't exactly being fair about you it. You don't need to be fair in business. You just gotta make money. You said it's not personal. Well, I'm making it personal. Why don't you yeah. just get lost, all right? Before I call the cops on you for loitering. Man, my first real food. Wait, who's that digging in the trash over there? Wait, is that Logan? Hey, Logan! Nick? Oh my gosh, wh what are you doing? I feel like I should be asking you that. What are you doing digging in the trash? Well, after the storm hit, I lost everything. I thought I was the only survivor too. A lot of people came into town and looted the place. They robbed what was left of my house and took everything from me. You too, huh? Man, I'm sorry to hear that. But look, I found a penny and I upgraded it to $3,000 already. What? No way. That's right. I want to turn it into a billion. That way I can go back and rebuild everything the way that it was. Wow, Nick. I'm really impressed. I'm lucky that you escaped. Yeah, and I'm glad to see you're okay too. Just can't believe no one came to help us. Well, if you want, you can come and have some food with me. Wait, really? All right, it's time to test this new phone out. I hope this works. Well, it's ringing. Oh my gosh, it's those mine. Hello? Hey, Logan, it works. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I can't believe we made our own phones and they work totally fine. I know. This is the start of something incredible. Kind of sucks, though. We spent all of our money making these prototypes. Yeah, but don't you worry. We'll make more money. I know exactly who to talk to. Oh, really? Who? It's this guy I met. He works in this electronics store. He'll be the perfect one to talk to. Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Oh, great. Now there's two of you? Carl, what are you doing here? That's none of your business. What you got there, huh? You stole someone's cell phones? No, of course not. We made this phone. No, you didn't. You made nothing. You do nothing with your life. You need to leave us alone. Oh, yeah? Why should I listen to a poor, broke idiot, We're gonna huh? use these phones to become billionaires. Yeah, and we're gonna take care people in need. Well, that's the dumbest idea I ever heard. Let's see how many people you can take care of with a busted phone. Huh? No! All of our hard work, what's wrong with you? Oh, man. Nick, I think it's broken. I'm sure we can think of something. I just hope this thing works when we go to pitch it. All right, Nick. What did you want to talk to me about? Well, me and Logan have been working super, super hard on this amazing project, and it's finally time to show you what we've got. What the heck is this thing? Some kind of phone? That's right. It's the latest and greatest phone. We built it ourselves. Why don't you give it a shot? Uh, okay, sure. I mean, I like the design of this thing. Looks like it's got pretty good service. Really user-friendly. I like it. Really, Don? Do you mean it? Yeah, I don't lie, okay? This is like the best phone I've ever seen. I want to buy a bunch of these and start selling them in my store. Oh, no way. That's awesome. However, that's sort of the only phone we have right now. What do you mean it's the only phone you have? Well, we're gonna need more materials and people to help build them. Right now, it's just Logan and I. Well, I can help you with that, no problem. You can? Yeah, here, I got a uh, $50,000. $50,000? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. This will definitely get us started. Yeah, and I wanna be an investor in this. You guys have made an incredible product and I can see it making a whole lot of money. I want in. Man, Nick, look at all this. Can you believe it? It's only been three months, and our productivity is through the roof. Yeah, at this rate, we're going to become billionaires in no time. Oh, it's Don. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, Nick, I wanted to call and tell you some great news. Oh, yeah? Let's hear it. I got the phones into a bunch of stores now. We're going to get a check for $50 million. Oh, my gosh, that's insane. Thank you so much, Don. Yeah, no problem. I'll send the orders over right away. 
What's the big deal? He just got our phones into a bunch of new stores. And he said we're going to get a check for $50 million, Logan. What? $50 million? Are you kidding? Yeah, it's really happening. Dude, we're really doing this. And imagine, all of this started with a penny. It's just crazy to think about. But we still have a bunch more stuff to do. But we will reach that goal of a billion dollars, I promise. Well, what do we do next? Well, Don's sending us that order. So we gotta get this shipment out as soon as possible. I cannot believe that stupid idiot is making millions of dollars off of my trash. Oh, I'm gonna make him pay. It's time to make this first delivery. Oh, no, the tires! Ah, let's see if we can get that delivery out now, loser. They're all gone! I'm stuck here now. Oh, man, this is terrible! There's no way I can make this delivery on time now. <laughs> Carl! Carl, you get back here! Sucks to suck! Uh, Carl! <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna let Carl stop me. I'm gonna drive this truck no matter what! Well, Nick, you made it just in time. And luckily, I mean, look at your truck. This thing is beat up. What the heck? Yeah, don't worry about it. The important thing is that all the phones are here. Yeah, thank goodness. This is going to be the best product ever. There's already so much hype about this new phone online. Oh, really? I haven't checked. Yeah, man. Thanks again for all your hard work and your determination. You're going to make us a whole lot of money. That's the goal. I'm going to make a ton of money and give it back to my hometown. You're from that town that was destroyed, right? From that terrible storm? Yeah, that's right. But you know, I gotta say, what you're doing right now is amazing. A lot of people want to just get rich and keep it all to themselves. You actually want to give back to people. Absolutely. Well, with that being said, I gotta get going. It's time to keep making more phones. All right, man. See you later. See you later, Don. Whoa! Oh my gosh, what's going on? I, I don't know. I'll buy you an Uber home because, uh, man, that's gonna be a long walk. Gentlemen, I first want to start off by thanking you both for showing up to this meeting today. I know you're both incredibly busy. Well, of course. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, I'm extremely interested in buying into your company. Almost everybody has one of your phones now. And even my daughter wants one. Well, that's really exciting news. We're just glad people really like the product. And you're both very humble, which is what I like. Because I am not. <laughs> Listen, let's cut to the chase, okay? I want to offer you each a billion dollars. A billion dollars each? You both accept the offer? I'll have my assistant send over some paperwork and get this started right away. Uh, well, I accept. What about you, Nick? Absolutely, I accept. Thank you so much. Now, if you don't mind uh, getting out of here, I've got a whole lot more business to handle. Oh my gosh, Nick. We just got a billion dollars a piece. What did I hear you say? A billion dollars? Where is it? We just made a billion dollars a piece, but really, that's none of your business. Oh, really? Well, if I remember correctly, you started your business with my trash. You owe me. We don't owe you for a thing. Oh, yes, you do. Look, Carl, if we didn't try to rip off Don, then maybe you would have gotten these phones. But even still... You wouldn't have invented a new one on your own, so this has nothing to do with you. This all started because of me, and now you think you're better than me, huh? We don't think we're better than anybody else. That seems to be your mentality, not ours. You know what, Logan? We got a lot bigger things to worry about. Let's get out of here. Oh, don't worry. This isn't the last you'll see of me. I'll make sure of that. Nick, dude, look around. It took us a long time, but we rebuilt the city. I heard news that people that lived here before are gonna start coming back home. Really? Man, that's the best news I've heard. Move out of the way, losers. Come on, let's move. What the heck? Is that Carl? What are you doing here? Here to destroy all these homes. <laughs> you know I was supposed to be a billionaire, not you. Well, this happened because of all of our hard work. You don't know the first thing about hard work. Now get out of my city. Come on, guys, we've gotta find some food. Wait, look, a penny. Carter, what are you doing? Yeah, you look like an idiot. It's just a penny. Forget about it. We can survive on a penny. What? You kidding? Penny's worthless. Yeah, man, there's no way we could survive on a penny. Come on, let's go. No way. I know that this penny's gonna be the start of something huge. Hey, Davis, check out what I found in the fountain. A uh, penny? Whoa, okay, that's nice, I guess. Is there anything in the store I could buy with this? I'm sorry, there's nothing in the store that you could buy for just a penny. Not even a piece of gum, dude. Yeah, Carter, everything here is really expensive. I'm so hungry. 
Please, I've known you for so long. I could really use the help. Look, man, I know you're down on your luck. I'm sorry, I just can't give you any food for a penny. Maybe you can take this, though. A pen? Yeah, sure, I'll take a pen. Great, man. Oh, this is so great. Come on, Paul, let's go. See you later, Davis. Paul, check it out. Look what I traded for that penny. Come on, Carter, seriously? What, are you gonna say that we can survive on a pen now? We absolutely can. I'm gonna show you how. Do you still have that old school notebook? Yeah, I think so. Bring it with you. We're gonna need it. All right, man, I've got the notebook. Tell me, what's your grand plan? I've known how to draw for a really long time, so I'm gonna sell these drawings for money. Okay, I can see that. You are pretty talented. Let's see what you've got. I think I'll just do a simple drawing of... I think this is it. I think I'm done. Okay, Paul, now watch this. Drawings for sale. Drawings. Come get your drawings. Oh, wow. That's a really cool drawing. Tell you what, I'll give you five bucks for it. Wait, five bucks? It's a deal. Look, you really did it. You sold your first drawing. You see, I knew this was going to work. So you got a couple more drawings left in you? You know I do. Three, thirty-four, thirty-five. We made thirty-five dollars today. We, Carter, you were the one that was doing all the drawing. That's all your money. No, it isn't, Paul. I couldn't have done this if I didn't have anything to draw on. Here, I want you to take half of it. Really? Oh my gosh, this is more money than I've had in years. Well, come on, we should spend some of this money on some food. Yeah, man, I'm so hungry. I told you, this is gonna be the start of something great. Hey, what is that? Where'd you get all that food, Elliot? You won't believe it. Carter was making these drawings, and we were selling them for money. We were able to buy some. Are you kidding? You know that penny Carter found? He traded it for the pen. And now we're using it to make more money. Why don't you take some of our food? Ugh, no. I don't want your charity. I'll find my own food. If we keep this up, we can make some real money. Are you kidding? You guys make chump chains off your little scribbles in a notebook? Well, we're going back tomorrow. You can come with us if you want to. No, that sounds like a big waste of my time. And it sounds like a waste of your time too, guys. Why are you even trying? Because I want more out of my life. I actually want to be something. Yeah, Elliot. Don't you want to make a change? Keep your heads in the clouds, Carter. You can try and sell as many drawings as you want. It's not going to change anything. We're stuck like this forever. Carter, what if he's right? What if we're just wasting our time and we just had a stroke of luck today? Just keep your head up. This will make us successful. I'm sure of it. No, no, I agree. Your work is actually pretty incredible. You've got some talent. And that's why we want to rent out this booth so we can start selling our drawings from here. Look, sir, we know you own the pier. The people that are here love Carter's drawings. I think we'd be a great addition here. Right around town is you do some really funny characters for drawings. I know a good business opportunity when I see one. You two have the booth. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Keep making those incredible drawings. I wish you luck. Dude, I can't believe it. We actually have a booth. It's like we're a real business or something. I'm so excited to get started. Hold this because of some crazy penny. What are you two doing? Hey, Elliot. Are you two losers still trying to make a pathetic business idea? Well, we're not trying anymore. We did. This booth right here is ours. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Why don't you brag about it some more? Elliot, what's wrong, man? We used to be friends. And you haven't talked to us in weeks. Because you two have changed. Look at you. Even your clothes have changed. You think you're better than me. No, we don't. No, we don't think that way at all. You two are going to fail. I told you this before. It was a big waste of your time. And when you do fail, you're going to be poor and homeless again, just like you are always meant to be. Elliot, don't be like that. And here you go, sir. This drawing is like sick, man. You've got some serious talent and skill. Thanks. I'm just glad you like it. I'm going to post this on my Instagram. Thanks again, man. Well, I guess that's our last sale of the day. So how do we do? We made really good money today, Carter. We made over $200. 200 bucks? You know, Paul, we're going to be millionaires before you know it. Yeah, you think so? I know so. Well, if we keep this up, you're definitely right. Hey, why don't we go out to dinner, celebrate a hard day's work? I think that sounds like a great idea. I'm thinking something like a burrito. Ooh, maybe some nachos too. Ah, breaking on this pier is easy. Where's that stupid booth? Ah, here it is. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. You had nothing, Carter. And you'll always have nothing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. The fire, it's, it's spreading to another booth. I need you go. Come on, man. I want to get to our booth early. Wait, what's going on? Where's the pier? Carter, I think that is the pier. What? It's completely burned down. Look, the pier is over there. He does not look happy. Come on, we should go talk to him. Sir, we're so sorry that the pier burned down, but what happened? You two 
are what happened. What do you mean by that? I can't believe you two coming down here to the scene of your own crime. We know you're the ones that set the pier on fire. What are you talking about? No, we didn't. Yeah, I can actually confirm that the starting point was their booth, and it was set intentionally. I should have never let you two work on the pier. Sir, we did not set that fire. Yeah, I promise. I wouldn't risk my business for this. Well, because of you two, not only are you out of business officially, but now everyone else on the pier is out of business, and you're ruining people's holiday weekends. Well, is there anything I could do to help? You two can help by never speaking to me again. I never want to see you. Just get lost. Carter, what are we going to do now? Our business is completely gone. Look, we'll figure it out, okay? Remember where we started. Yeah, homeless and on the streets. We're going right back to it. Come on, Paul. Don't act like that. You can't give up. Carter, what is the point? Maybe Elliot was right. This is just a big waste of our time. We got to keep trying or else we're going to be stuck being homeless forever. Don't you want to change your life? Of course I do. But wasting my time on some stupid idea like this... I just don't want to hear it anymore, Carter. I can't do this. Paul, come back. I saw the fire on the news. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I mean, I guess. I'm out of a job, and now Paul isn't even returning my calls. Paul's going to figure everything out soon. Don't you worry. All right, you two. Hands in the air. Yeah, this is a robbery. Give us all your money. Elliot and Paul, what are you two doing? Oh, of course you'd be here. Shut up, Carter. Give us all the money you have. Paul, are you kidding? This isn't what you should be doing. You can't just take things from people. This is the only choice we have, Carter. That's right. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I do understand. You guys are sadly mistaken. You're not taking anything from him. Just shut up. Paul, go get the money. Get out of my way, Elliot. You two aren't going anywhere. Carter, if you don't get out of the way, you're gonna be sorry. Elliot, what are you gonna do, huh? If you guys want to live a life of crime, whatever. But you guys aren't my friends anymore. Now leave my real friend alone! Ugh, we're wasting our time. The cops could be here soon. I'm not gonna let you guys get away with this. Wow, Carter, thank you so much for saving me and saving the store. Couldn't just let them take stuff from you. How would you like a job at my store? Really? You mean it? Yeah, dude, of course. It's the least I could do. Here, here you go. Have a great day. Man, this drawing is so cool. You've been incredible this past couple weeks. Customers seem to love you and they seem to love your drawings too. That's exactly why I think you deserve this. Is this an iPad? That way you can start selling your art online to people all over the world, not just here. Oh my gosh, Davis, thank you so much. Dude, are you crying? I'm just so happy. Just remember, never give up. I believe in you. I think you could really make something of yourself. All right, here's the keys to your new house. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I can't believe I actually have a house now. Big milestone. That's fantastic. All right, but I gotta go. I gotta go sell another house. Wow, I can't believe this whole thing is mine. You know, now that I have this house, I should probably check out the neighborhood. My drawings are getting a lot of attention online. I still feel like something's missing in my life. Wait, is that Paul? Paul, what are you doing out here? Carter? Carter, is that you? Sorry, I I was just, uh, sleeping. Paul, are you okay? You're sleeping out here all by yourself. Does it look like I'm okay? No, it doesn't. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Last time was... When you tried to rob the gas station? You're right. Actually, I haven't seen Elliot since that night either. I'm so sorry about what happened. After the pier burnt down, I just lost all hope and lost all control. Is there any way you could possibly forgive me? Well, of course I'll forgive you. You're still my best friend. We've gone through so much together, and I know that you made a lot of mistakes. I mean it. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Well, I know something you could do. I want you to come work with me again, just like old times. Really? Yeah, of course. You can sell my art like no one else. You know what? I accept. Thank you so much. I promise. I'm not going to give up on you, Carter. Just about done, and it's finished. What do you think? You've got to be kidding me, right? This is the sickest painting I've ever seen in my life. Really? You think so? Oh, yeah. This is going up in my home, and it's going to go over all my social media. Did my Fans are going to love this. Well, thank you so much. I'm really happy to make something that you like. And I'm happy to have an artwork from the celebrity artist. Dude, you know how famous you're going to be, right? Oh, I don't know about that. I just care about making people happy, that's all. Well, dude, you deserve this. Here, take it. And I threw a little extra in, too, because this thing is sweet. Whoa, are you kidding? This is so much money. If you do a favor for the super celebrity Axe Jackson, you get paid for it, man. It's a pleasure doing business with you. You. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it. Thanks again for the opportunity. You will have no idea who I just got off the phone with. 
Who is it? Only the biggest movie studio in all of Hollywood, and they want you to do your own animated movie. Wait, there's no way. This is awesome. If we're going to make a movie, though, we should probably start hiring some more people. And this business is going to be growing larger than we probably ever thought, dude. Remember when we started all of this just from drawing on the pier? And not just that, starting from a penny. I know this is going to be the best opportunity we've ever had. All you've got to focus on is the art stuff, okay? I'll get all the hiring started. Well, hold on. There's one person who needs a job. So, Davis, what do you think? I think you'd be an incredible manager. I don't know what to say. Well, you should say yes. You helped me, believed in me, and I just want to repay the favor. I just can't believe it. I accept. Really? This is great. I'll text you the address, and you can start first thing on Monday. Man, this car is sweet. I wonder who drives this thing. Elliot? Is that you? Kaya, what? I don't even recognize you. Oh, man. Man, wait a second. Is this your car? Yep, that's mine. I'm surprised you actually did it. How could a dumb loser like you afford this car? This thing is expensive. Well, I see nothing's changed with you. Yeah, and I see you've completely changed now. Looks like you got a lot of money. But just remember, Carter, you're always going to be a poor homeless nobody. Elliot, you keep saying that, but I'm not that person anymore. You could have done something like this to improve your life. Clearly, you didn't want to.